Hello, welcome back to the Metro Grid. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for tuning in. How's everyone doing? It is currently the 15th of August here in Montreal. It's a pleasant summer day, but most importantly for context, our still a banger song. Our national, sorry, our regional, wow, is on Saturday. So we're still going to be boning up a bit for that one, huh? How's everyone doing? Maybe you're watching this live, maybe you're from the VOD. Hopefully you're doing okay. I think today we're going to grind some competitive decks. We got a bit lost last week and didn't play the good, good, good stuff. Like, you know, the traditional good stuff. Uh, we did play a hell of a lot of this deck, which let me tell you, I'm fascinated by. And I love that as a deck of the week because I think this needs more attention. I'm also terrified that people will play this against me. Uh, but I think it's an interesting deck. And I honestly think you can make this deck better. And maybe we'll play a game of that to see how things go. Uh, this is the biggest confusing thing to me, is how to better spend four influence on this deck. I can't figure it out. But there's no way it's special report, it, right? How's everyone doing? Hey, Maddie! How you doing? Hope you're okay. Parallel as well. Good evening. Hey, how's your Thursday going? Um, we got some Neverland to play today. I think specifically there's a couple archetypes that I wanted to brush up on that I haven't played that I think are like competitive decks that I'll almost definitely see in the tournament on Saturday. One of them is the ASOS Pawn Shop Haley deck uh, that a lot of people were playing. I saw some representation of it in San Francisco on Neverland DB. Uh, so I want to play that or maybe it was California. I'm not actually sure. But we're going to get one game in with the deck list of the week because this one's specifically a pretty interesting deck. I think we have made some changes to the list. Uh, let's see if we have added some Jinteki.net. I feel like there's ways to make this deck better. I'm convinced and I don't want to spend all the influence in it. I'm convinced. I'm good, thank you. Hey, good to hear. Uh, so things that we've changed already. I don't think Flotic... Okay, let me know. So we played a bit of this deck. I actually practiced with it and against it yesterday just because it was like the deck of the week. And I think some things... I don't like the Flotic Entanglement. It doesn't really help you win. And you generally advance all your cards. So I don't... I don't know about that one. I think we're going to go ahead and just make that a future perfect, which has a chance of protecting itself, which is kind of nice. Uh, other things that we've done, I do like the Voter Intimidation. It does deal with some uh, th resources. The other way that we can play is Sadaka. I feel like Sadaka might just be better. I feel like Sadaka might be better. I'm not actually sure. I'm going to try getting rid of this. I think the biggest here is Clones Are Not People, which is amazing. I just removed it. But in a deck... In a deck that only runs three pointers, I think this is so big. This makes people have to run if they see it. If you motion into card, they know you have this in the hand. They have to run things. I don't see why you wouldn't play this in a five three deck. Shout outs again to Josh Quinlan. I scored seven points in one turn. Hey Rob, how's it going? Welcome. Have you had any regionals yet? No, that's actually just this Saturday in two days, and we're gonna be preparing for it a bit today. Maddie, I'm okay. Huh? Oh, good to hear. Um, so yeah, I think we definitely want to play this. I feel like this deck, we can get away with not playing that. Let me know if you've played this deck so far, the deck list a week, but I've had some practice with it, and I don't think Dharma actually does anything. I feel like Dharma it might be a dead card. It does help you set up some weird things where you can put someone to a Dharma or you can score naked, but it does all the same things that an Ice with Ag Infusion does. So I'm not sold on this one. I think we're going to go wipe that just to get some slots today. Uh, other cards I like, uh, I feel like Odoroshi hasn't been doing it for me. I feel like Cortex Lock might be straight up better in the slot, but I'm going to hold on and I'm going to try this uh, just because... I haven't been playing it aggressively enough. I don't love this card. I feel like the IP blocks also, they could become uh, slot machines, which has some cool things if you get to advance your cards. I think that's really cool. Are we keeping Dharma? No, I don't think so. I don't think Dharma actually is worth it in this deck. Uh, that's 49 cards. I'll be honest, the biggest issue with this deck is that people, if they know your deck list, they know that you don't have teeth. They know you don't have Ronins, which is kind of like the biggest threat that you could have. You don't have any of that stuff, which is kind of an issue. I wish we did have that. I wish we did have Ronins. I wish we had Snares and Shocks and other stuff like that. Like, for instance, I want to try this. I want to take IP blocks out. I want to put Kakugos in there. I want to just, like, do that. And I don't know how to spend all this influence. Like, I think we can have, actually, in this deck, uh, we can take these out. We can have, like, seven influence that we don't know how to use, which is kind of wild. Um, what else? Uh, I want to get some preemptive actions in here. I feel like preemptive is kind of the best card when your deck relies on having traps. If they're all in the archives, they can kind of safely run. Like, you can start doing the math. Like, if three Cerebral Overriders are in the bin, like, you know what? Just shuffling things back in kind of helps a heck of a lot. I know we have archive memories, but so be it. And I think we can actually just go ahead and cut one ice. And I think it's probably the Otoroshi, which is a sad thing because it's the ice that I like the least. Actually, Thimble Rig. Whatever, Thimble Rig. We'll try this. I feel like this might be a bit better. 
And if there's something I'm missing with Dharma, but I feel like Dharma just is like a really weak, uh, like Nisei counter that's one shot because it puts your, your thing then into the naked and they don't have to run it again. Or it's, um, I don't know what you'd call it. Like, it's just like an unresed ice for a bounce. Let's give this a shot. Also, like any modern deck, I think there is an argument to put Excalibur in it. It's not like we have border control or any hard end the runs, but Excalibur plus like Kakago plus what's it called could be could be good. Kakago plus um, I think that's actually a really big deal now too. Is we do have Kakago plus uh, Marcus Batty, which is in theory like two net damage and two runs if they want to steal Nobukata. If you have to play like the more glaciery thing, which is possible. Like we do have good ice. Okay, cool. So this is Haley. Um, don't know, I'm assuming Analyze Chris is playing one of the good Haley's. Hey, ooh. Hey, hey, thanks, you too. Um, so I'm gonna mulligan for something a bit better. We do have installed a double advanced three bow overrider, which is an okay opening, but I feel like we could do better. We could also do a bunch worse. I think his hand is straight up better. Uh, let me just zoom in real qu close. We got Kaku goes for central. Haley could be winning with Hushik. There's all this new stuff here. I don't know what any of this is. Now it tells me the game start time. The stack has bigger numbers on it. That's all new. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so we can start from here. So I do like the money. I think we want to ice up our centrals. Uh, I think I like Kakugo a lot for R&D. Now, if we res it, we don't have a bounce effect, but that still is annoying. And then we can put this on the remote server. I think that's kind of cool. Also, just like Odoroshi on HQ is okay. It doesn't really do much. I think generally you want this for remote. But again, if this was Cortex Lock, this would do something turn one. Right now, this card is honestly entirely blank. Uh, and they're going to go for that slow shape or start cash. Probably means Aesop's Pawn Shop, so they're not on Film Critic, which is pretty good. And there's a Proko. So I think this is actually the Haley deck that we really wanted to do some testing on. This is like the title deck. Uh, I think if we can go fast, we can jam behind an ice uh, i think we're just gonna get the ice so if we top deck an agenda we can go in solid advance advance so this is, seems all being new uh code gate breaker probably on angolo it's kind of expensive i almost take my Haley regionals deal to do with that this deck to deal with ag infusion how'd you do that running are you really worried about it in the end decided against it did that pay out i'm not actually sure if it's necessary so we do have something to jam in the remote. I think we can just stamp this next this turn. Generally, this looks like a Marcus Batty. We also they don't know what kind of Ag Infusion deck we are, right? Like we don't have to be deckless of the week. Uh, we could easily be uh, just like a Glacier deck, which honestly we do have the way to to pivot to single bank job or maybe even direct access. <laughs> direct access is pretty cool, but it only works so much. I think the the bank job is definitely a stronger hard tech. Uh, feedback filter is enough. Ooh, Guru Devinder. Okay, that kind of does fuck our day up. Uh, that's good tech. So they can't actually steal Obakata Protocol anymore with Guru Devinder on the table. That's really worth knowing. They cannot steal Guru De uh, Obakata Protocol while this is on the table, unless they pawn shop it. That's, these at the bottom are actually really interesting and bold. So yeah, because that's a cost, and they can't pay the cost to take a 4 net damage to steal Obakata. So Obakata actually is just like a safe jam. Speaking of safe jams here... Feeling okay here. We're not seeing a lot of numbers line up uh, so far for Hushuk, so we can't say exactly whether they're on a Hushuk deck. They could just be R&D interfaces. Could also be Stargate. Uh, Aesop's Pawn Shop package generally is only three influence, but a whole lot of card slots. Grew without Film Critic Madness. How's it going to Tsutsu? Yeah, right? Because if they have Film Critic, they can always grab it. And there's the Angola we talked about. So that's actually going to be able to get through the server for pretty cheap. Uh, they're not pushing for it. We could have got an agenda right there. Uh, don't really have a play going on here. We could special port aggressively, which honestly wouldn't be the worst. I think the only card we want to really keep is Rebo Overrider. Maybe the special port is good, but maybe we should just draw better hands. Oh, fuck me. Well, now HQ is really no dodgy, and this ice is still really bad. We're just gonna gain credits. Oh, that's all really new. That's all really new. And then we can do double advance. I don't think we need to ice that. I saw no ag infusion. Sec testing also is like a really nice card. I think sec testing might be even better for that deck. 
I think sec testing is three influence though, but sec testing is they need to set up two traps, which is actually pretty cool. It's another really good counter to this deck. That's turntable, also a good counter against this deck. Not only that, it's just a good card, but if we score a, a labyrinthine servers, they can always swap it, which is an issue. But we could, in theory, win. We have everything we we have it we need in our hand to win here. Oh, this is really cool! Wow, added a lot of stuff to there. That's really easy to use. Sec testing is only on your turn, though. Yeah, does that matter? I guess they could pawn shop it. In theory, we could advance this one more time, just so that we can play out the clones are not people. I don't think we really need to. I think we just want some money, because our money's actually really bad, considering we have two DNA trackers here. Basil, how's it going? Happy Thursday to you as well. In response to Ag Infusion, yeah, I kind of do. But like, you pick the server that has the trap in it, that has the obvious trap, so if they bounce you there, you just gain two credits. I think that's pretty good. And they have to build two giant traps. Yeah, this tech actually can be a liability. I don't know how they play around it. I assume they just pawn shop it as soon as they need it. There's a lady. Uh, they can also just lose four credits and go through here. They're going for the remote. Uh, we could res, which will put us down to three credits, which would be a problem because we plan to score this. So I think we're just going to do nothing because they can't steal with Guru Devinder. They can trash their Guru Devinder here, but that's okay. And we also could have just popped there because it was our last click. Elmeister, how's it going? Welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to the chat. I was hoping for Kakugo. <laughs> so now they really need to get rid of it. They could just pawn it. We're going to go ahead and score it. So this they couldn't steal because of the um, Guru. So that's good. And in theory, if we install Advance, 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 like even if we motion this and they're not ready to deal with the Guru Devender, we can just like play our current and score it out. I think this current is like super sweet. That being said, they can always like run the Kakugo. Uh, here, I'm not resing anything. The only thing they can trash in our hand is a Cerebral Overrider. And if they trash it, they'd be probably pretty happy. This prevents only meat and net damage too, so the brain damage is good. Axe's Hedge Fund Range Q. Obviously, they don't want us to have that. Going in again. I think the scroll might be working. Hit the Obakata again. Can't steal that. Now they know we have it, which is the worst thing. Because now they know they have to pawn the Guru Devinder. I'm going to go jam, I think, this next turn. This is in my recommended section. Fuck off. No way. Do you play Nightrunner? I hope you play Nightrunner. Otherwise, this might not make a lot of sense. Ooh, net ship. That's pretty wild. So we're just going to jam this. This looks like the Obakata. So we're going to see if they pawn the Guru Devinder. If they pawn the Guru Devinder, we got him good. Wow, they're just running. Oh, they want to see. So it's a cerebral static. All right, cool. So we did two brain damage to them. Hello, Andy. How's it going, Wayne? Also, Corey, how you doing, Trixie? Yeah, it is. They assumed that was the Obakata. They're going to run that. If it wasn't the Obakata, they're going to bounce back here and then get rid of it. They're apparently not going to pawn it. I assumed they were going to pawn it. I'm also assuming they had feedback filter in their deck, which is going to be an issue. But most importantly, they're on uh, three hand size, which on its own makes it a bit more awkward to steal the Obakata. There's a Hushuk. Uh, we don't have any unrest cards, so that's all the ones. One, two, three, four. It's only going to see four cards, which is not too bad. Uh, oh, I can't do net damage anymore. Oh, it just does on its own, I guess. Yeah. Now we can NGO them to pawn it. Yeah, we totally can. Uh, they paid four for the Guru. So they're going to see four cards, reveal them, and shuffle. Junebug, Inazuma, DNA Tracker, Arcade Memory. So obviously no agendas there. They can trash the Junebug. We really want an unres ice on R&D, just so they who shook again that we can trash. We can pop the ice to deflect it. That's super important. And they have a Harbinger, which is more influence. We do have the Mushin. We could do Mushin Obakata. I feel like we just want to go install Advance Advance here. But then we go to no credits, which is obviously an issue. Uh, we might just want to do Credit Credit Hedge Fund. Yeah, NGO is a really bad thing there because we'd be on one credit and then obviously it's an agenda. They have no reason to run. And even if it's one credit, the only thing it could be Project Junebug, which again, they take no damage. So I think we need, if we're going to jam, we need to have points. 
I kind of want to motion advance this Obakata and get rid of their Guru because then the game's interesting. Like, I think we might give it to them. I'm worried though they're on freedom through equality and then they play that and they who shook and we lose. But I think we need to do motion advance. The thing is, like, they can check anything besides brain damage traps. And now brain damage traps are a real threat. So we could do motion advance. They would need to have four cards. And no guru, so they have to do draw, run, trash. I think we're going to do it. This is kind of risky. Now the problem is if this is a brain damage card, they lose the game. So we're kind of a 50-50. They might let us have it because they don't know where our clones are not people. If Because we still have to score out and that's the biggest issue. They could run this. It's Proko Proko. They didn't pawn the guru. So they basically have to take damage this turn, so they're hushuking, and then they might run server two. So small chance we lose here. Let's see if they keep the Guru Divinder or not. And Golo making it a code gate, not even using the, the lady. They kept the Guru. I think we just won. I think we did just win the game. Labyrinthine servers, they got one off the top. Project Jumba Overrider, I think they would just take the agenda. They didn't play a freedom too, which would be really scary if they did. But most importantly, they have the Guru Divinder. So that's going to be three points. And this is why I think this deck really needs this card. You really need to make them have to respect you, and they're not respecting anything now. Like, that's so such a big deal. Such a big deal that they have to respect a motion card after you're on three points. Two overriders accounted for. Obakata. This is the deck of the week? No, it's the deck of the week this week. We just played it last week. It's now technically this week. <laughs> so we just played that. Advance. Score. That's a fork. You gotta do that. This deck is so hard to score out. Like all the trap stuff we were so far away from. I think the Guru Divinder is like really hot tech. That's really cool tech. That might actually be straight up better than um Might be straight up better than uh than feedback filter, I don't know. I guess the brain damage is thing. Thought Guru was clever tech on Rita doesn't block brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought you'd pawn it and just run the oboe. I found it early when I found you can't steal oboe. How's it going? Digging the bull play? Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, it's it's like hard. They need to draw up to hand size. They need to get rid of the guru. Like they could have just pawned it. But like that's also a big fork right here, right? Is that they're on two brain damage. So if that w did four brain damage to them, if that wasn't Cerebral Overrider, uh, they would have been lethal. And they only ran it because when they did their Hushuk, they saw a second Cerebral Overrider. There's a chance they wouldn't even ran it. Hey, thanks you too. Yeah, you can play Critic with this, but then you can't play the Pawn Shop. Bank Job also technically works. Bank Job is a counter, but Bank Job's only a counter for the Bounce Trap stuff. Like, all this whole, everything here worked fine. Alright, let's just do one more. We played a bit of this deck last week. I still think it's a fascinating deck. Um, I think it's, I'm not really great with the Yomi thing. Plays like that, I'm more proud of because I normally don't do stuff like that. Where I kind of read the, the table a bit better than usual. I don't know. I, yeah, I kind of, I motion pretty bad when I'm streaming, I'll be honest. If you're just tuning in, by the way, I guess we just started streaming. This is the Metropolitan Grid. Maybe you're new to the game. Maybe you're new to the channel on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. It's really easy, especially on, I think Twitch is the easiest to make an account. You don't need email verification. Um, maybe ask some questions, figure out how the game works, meet some people. It's good stuff. I try and explain what I do, but it's never going to be perfect. So do ask if you want. Corey says it's really interesting, but it feels a lot like Titan. Sometimes you just lose and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, that's the thing is that I think this one feels a bit less like Titan. And I feel like this has been more fascinating. Uh, I've been having more... I've been realizing this deck is a bit more flexible than I thought it was because at the end of the day, you can still do double ice. You can still do like a Nazi DNA tracker install advance advance. And like that's not going to do well against all decks. Uh, surfer decks, like it's an issue um, for you. Uh, but like on its basis, if you have Marcus Batty and you can build a two ice remote and the egg infusion ability, like it's still a flexible deck. I That's what I didn't like. When I first played this, I was just like turn one motioning. And like you can do that. But then the game is a coin flip. If you, unless you believe you can read your opponent you've never met before, maybe. 
uh but otherwise like you do still have a medium to long late game plan and i think that's really cool i don't feel in that way it's like titan and titan you can just get stomped this deck also would get stomped less if you ran things like uh snare and stuff like that but again slots am i right <laughs> yomi's camera shy yeah this is admittedly like a hit to play quality when i'm also like talking and like interacting with chat and i hit one of these buttons every once in a while so that's like 20 percent of my brain uh it does get better sometimes i feel like the best narrator i usually play besides tournament narrator it's like when we used to do videos where it was just like me sitting and i never looked at the screen and then i always forgot because my camera would be on top of cards eventually where it's just uh just talking about what you do that's the easiest or the, the easiest to play well i think that of course you still fuck up and youtube comments point that out which is good which is good which officer frank existed by any means so good against so much of the field right now yeah, you could just play Imp, but again, by any means, is that isn't that just like Imp? Like you still take damage from traps? I thought that was just like you can't Imp a snare. If am I is that not the case? Oh no, I made this a new window. Huge mistake. How do I jam that in there? Okay, cool. What do you mean? First active player's abilities are all the inactive player's abilities. Are all. One of those abilities moves the carping acid to even now being fed. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, never mind. The only trap you get hit by a psychic field. Imp lets you trash the normal time. Bam is on axis. Huh, wild. Wild. Oh, Edward Kim. That can be an issue. Uh, we got a cool combo here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep this one. You wanna see guts? I'll show you guts. Hey, hey. They kept you. Yo, Roberto! Be because I can, best counter ever. You're right, because I can is actually pretty sweet. Also, Guru Devinder Man for one influence. Maybe consider that. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Credit, I guess. <laughs> Are you putting the late Labby or the June server? I think we're doing the Labyrinthine. June bug's nice and all, but having a big June bug behind ice is like not particularly good. What do they do? Click one. Oh, they gained a credit. Spoilers. Okay, so this might be a gang sign deck, which is honestly can be punishing. Uh, I feel like we're not in a rush here. If they're a gang sign deck. Because I can is for cowards by any means. And take your legs. Because I can is actually kind of sweet. It What does it do? Does it shuffle into your deck or your hand? I forget. Oh, wow. What? Okay. This is a mill deck. Fear masses. They're going to show us some part of their hand that has additional copies of this. I wonder how many they're going to show us. Whoa. Whoa. We're getting dunked on. Oh, we're getting dunked on! <laughs> they had him! No, our motions are preemptive! We only have one preemptive too, right? Fuck! I guess we have the archive memories preemptive. This is probably okay. That's the huge issue here, is this server sucks ass. Like, if this was Cortex Lock, it would be better. It doesn't really help that much. We're just gonna bluff. Put back in R and D. Okay, yeah. So it shuffles into your stack, right? That's a good card. It's Yomi only. <laughs> yeah, we don't need any shit. We're just gonna install advanced advance. Two motions and preemptive is pretty bad. Also, I like really don't think they're gonna be good at ice. This might be too much ice. It's good against DDoS, which they're probably on. But the fact that they're on two clicks, one credit means we're probably gonna score this, which is a really good start. All right, we drew all our traps, so we're just gonna go ahead and score this, and then we just have to build a big ass June bug. Honestly, we don't even have to build a big-ass June bug. We don't, because this will just put three counters on it. So we only we have to build like a really modest June bug. We just need to get an unrezzed ice here, and then we install the June bug advance at once, and I think we win. We just need two add ice here and here. There's a trope. So the question is whether or not they run. That's the only problem. Oh, it's not even a problem. We'll just do this naked. All right. 
Haiti shirt also is a thing. Okay, so new remote, I guess. Because we want a remote to score in if we really need to. Ah, whatever. I think this is fine, right? Because if this fires, it's really good for us. If the Odoroshi file fires. We just obviously need an ice for a central. But this alone, if they don't have a way to deal with this. The source? Yeah, okay, cool. Croder? Cool, cool, cool. So we kind of need an ice. We actually could have special reported. I'm just going to keep advancing this though, so it's lethal. Right now it does 8 damage, which is generally lethal. So now we just basically special report for ice and get ice on R&D and HQ. And I don't think they could win. Oh, they just helped us. They helped us find that ice we wanted. Yo, this with uh, Fear the Mass is really cool. <laughs> also, like, current could help us win. So we're just going to do two ice. So we just want to find a current, really. And then we'll just leave one agenda on the table. They're firing the trope. I've had worse than Fisk, so they do have that. Oh, that's really good. That's R&D. That's HQ. We have to double ice all this stuff if we're worried that about... Um, oh, please don't. If we're worried about uh, DDoS, I'm pretty sure. Which they... I honestly think they could be on DDoS. I don't think they want to rev ever. How's it going, Terrence? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's just not going to run. We haven't seen Restricted. They're probably on Gang Sign. So ideally, we just install a double advance. Uh, we'll get the this out first. And once we've got that, uh, we'll get... Um, try and find our one copy of... What's it called? The... the uh, clones are not people. And then we can just win with two agendas. They're going to help us find it too, which is really cool. If they have Fear the Masses, like I'm assuming they're going to run. They must run. I think we're going to get another ice on, a on HQ. Tom Toms. Hey, Andre, why new server? Why? Uh, just so that we have this. I think they are going to run. Just so we have this Odoroshi here. Now if they run this, we can bounce them somewhere else. It's not... Yeah, okay, so we can win. Uh, it's not 100% necessary. So unfortunately, we need to get this up to a few advancements. I think we're just going to dump our hand. Uh, ooh, that was probably more than we needed to do. Uh, brain damage doesn't seem necessary. This doesn't seem necessary either. So we're just going to install advance, advance this next turn. Then we'll do advance, advance, and then something else. So if they run here, we can do eight damage to them. That's usually lethal. If this fires a bit more too, they have to break a sentry breaker. They have no heat breakers, which is really important. There haven't been running any heat breakers so far either, which is kind of cool. They just troped again. <laughs> they have three tropes. Lost a click there. Oh, did we fucking? That's why I, we threw out a card because we just play, <laughs> we just played uh, IPO on click two. Uh, good shit. Good shit. We got this. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Yeah, we fucked that up for sure. I was like, why are we throwing out a card there? And that makes a lot of sense. We should just ice this up. We should double ice this so we don't lose a DDoS. Because I'm assuming we're going to get a D-Dust. They don't have a lot of money. Checking the 10 cards. This might actually just be Hades Shard. No, it's a real Axis. They milled nothing. We only have 7 agendas in the deck. So there's only 5 more in 21. So 1 in 4 chance. In before Black File. Oh man. 5 influence. Not impossible. Kind of implausible. Another agenda, that's scary, but we're going to put this on server 2. Do advance, advance. So next turn, all we do is we play advance, advance, clones are not people, and then it should be the game. All right, we just won the game. They have a Persephone in the archive, so they're not going to be able to jack out. Uh, what? Oh, cool. That is GG. So no matter what we res, no, it doesn't. Rut row. No. Yeah, hey, Elias, how's it going? Okay, so we're finally gonna. F this is gonna happen. Waiting for Ren to resolve Odorashi. That's a lot of that damage. That's death. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so they can play three cards or access the card. It doesn't matter. They're going to access the card anyways. And that is a good game. So they had the threat. They had the pressure. I feel like the money wasn't, might not have been there. 
they had six credits to get through a single ice, and then no, they're actually running into um to into this without a sentry breaker, which is wild. Their breaker speed's also pretty crazy, right? Like Persephone for the mill, I guess. Uh, we got fear of the masses pretty hard. We got kind of lucky. Like in theory, we could have lost there just to the mills itself, but we were totally set up. And again, such a big deal. Why I feel like this deck archetype needs clones in our people. Is it any different from last week? Uh, yeah, slightly actually. We changed some stuff. We took out IP blocks. We put in Kakugo. I think we're short like four influence on this deck list or three. Uh, so we could probably make this better, but we also have a preemptive in it. Sorry, move my face. I feel like there's ways to make this deck better. And I'm not convinced that this is the best deck list either. I feel like Special Report could just be a localized product line. It's just really expensive, and I feel like with more money. Finish my jailbreak on my iOS 12.4. I'm working about nine hours on stop now. I can also play Jaina on my iPhone 8. No way. Is it good? Doesn't the run event say instead of accessing? Hey, Maidan, it does, but it says only for HQ, right? It says instead of accessing HQ, if I'm not mistaken. It's a replacement effect, but only on the central server. Actually, I honestly don't know how. What happens when you bounce? This will be on Bullfrog. It didn't matter for what it's worth because Odoroshi fired. It says if successful. Doesn't it care about the server? The thing is, like, Odoroshi fired, so technically it doesn't matter, but. How does that happen? What happens with that? Space camp? No, space camp isn't it. There's no way space camp is. I'd rather on Breach Dome all the time besides space camp. I'll send you a preview of my custom firmware. Yeah, sure. I don't have a. I owe anything, but. Got some anti-bank job tech. I'm not scared about bank job, I'll be honest. Uh, but we do have a bit of anti-bank job tech. Very, very, very soft. They could have paid three for Odoroshi. Oh, okay, you're right. They could have. Via Twitch? Yeah, that's sure. Sure, sure. It cares about the server, right? Yeah, Andrew, I think it says... Like, I think specifically it always cares about the server. You can't, like... The runner ends up running successfully on another server that if successful effect on Count 7 cannot be triggered. Yeah, so I think this ruling applies to everything that gets bounced. I know this showed up here. It's probably in the FAQ. I don't know if it's in the Nisei FAQ, but I'm pretty pretty sure if you bounce a successful trigger that is dependent on a server, uh, then uh, it, it it fucks it up. It fucks it up kind of bad. All right, so we got to try some. There's still like some archetypes that I haven't tested yet that I want to test tonight. And then there's like one deck that I think might be good that I want to build. Um, I think we want to start with what our opponent might have been playing to some extent earlier today. I think they might have switched one card or something. But uh, let me see if I can find it. It is basically this like Haley deck that seems really good. It runs Pawn Shop. It's just kind of nice. Oh, this won't ever work in here. Give me one second. Um, I don't want to try that. Playing never on a phone. Have fun with ads instead of scrolling. And you put it into portrait mode. You're fine. Uh, let's just find it because I know there's a couple re versions. One was called like Tidal just because it ran three Parisias to deal with like industrial genomics that was being spotted in the meta. Yeah, Blue Mercury's decklist. First at San Diego. Excuse me, I think I said in San Francisco. I want to try this. This decklist just seems like good stuff. And while this might not be my type of deck, uh, I feel like this is something that I just need to play just so I know what it plays like. That was kind of the thing. Like I, we played last night, uh, me and a metamate did some practice for the regionals. And like I was playing against this one deck and I was like, fuck, this is so strong. And then I switched and played it, it as the runner. And I was just like shitting my pants. Just couldn't figure it out. Not even the slightest bit. Uh, so it's good to know the other side, to know what they're possible of and how to force them around. Um, and I think this will be a good start. Hey, Grim, how's it going? CTM? Yo, I honestly don't know if CTM is any good right now. I feel like the world's decklist is still fine, but I don't know. Rizeki might be an issue. Wu has a link. There's some There's some other stuff. Patrick's also just incredibly good in that rigor. I think he should pilot anything to first with a smile. Yeah, that helps. That's an unfair help. You see that in some people. Like, Dan Dargenio shows up to, you know, a regional with the decklist that was given to him. Um and like came in second we had benoit who won the north american national champions like in 2014 we would give him a deck he hasn't played in like months he'd show up and like it would take him a while to like you know if hard-hitting news came out we'd have to warn him about it stuff like that but like he would still do fine which is crazy uh i'm not jealous all right so this one has three parisias uh, you can. They said in the deck list that you could. Uh, they originally had two Parisias and one Reclaim. I've never played Reclaim. I guess we're gonna play Reclaim. Why would you play Reclaim? Okay. Apparently, Chris Dyer. Oh, that's the corpse side. Excuse me. Okay, we'll try Reclaim. It's an easy install. Okay. 
Okay, let's give this a shot. Good to hear. The wording on the card is a little less clear. Thanks for clearing up. Yeah, hey, no problem. No problem. Does anybody know a good CTM list? Like, I'm assuming Asmari semi glacier is probably just better. I feel like I'm not giving enough stock to like HB, just like Jinja and just jamming shit with like Excalibur. Like, all that stuff seems broken. Excalibur Ash is really good right now. Excalibur. Ah, just Jinja's kind of nutty, huh? And the thing is, like, if someone plays Jimba and starts jamming in a remote, it's not like it used to be. I think the closest thing is, like, Stargate. But there's not a way to close the game anymore. It's not like you can play Keyhole or Medium and it'd be like, oh, well, you have the remote, but I'm going to win on Central. It's like, Turning Wheel just doesn't do that. Reclaim to upgrade Astrolabe into Turntable. I think we can just Pawn Shop it. Because you only run three clutches. <laughs> How's it going, Jim? Yeah, I think it's because we're, like, cashing. We're cash spamming, I guess. I don't know. Play CTM as it was ETF. That seems bad. Seems not good. That's also a problem because like CTM gives you the ability once per turn and ETF was like you made one server with like three upgrades on it classically. So like that's not great. Because they just trash all of them and take one tag. Dendor Jane is a beast. He's always top tier. Do you know if he plays on JNet? I think at some point he did. I don't think he's been playing online for a long time. But yeah, he definitely did. He streamed too. His name was Meteox Core. I don't know how to pronounce it. That uh, that regional was streamed on uh, Code Marvelous' channel. If you want to check it out. Is anybody in chat coming to the regional on Saturday? Because I don't know what the turnout is going to look like. We had a really good store championship a while ago, and it was just like just Montreal, I think. I don't know if uh, folks from Ottawa are coming in, or Shrana, or the Northeast. I have actually no idea. It's going to be a long day. It's not going to be streamed. Might be recorded. Who knows? Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I need to probably check the deck list a bit. We have a David. That's good to recur that. We have a misdirection. Seems good. Clot. Pretty hot. We've got Nanotech, Inti, and Golo, and one lady. So that's where our, uh, our clone ships are going to go. Roberto might go. Okay. It's good to know. We have that feedback filter, we have the tech, the Beth, a single Beth. Yo, Beth! Beth. This deck also doesn't have pad tap, which makes me think it might be bad. <laughs> you know what we don't talk about anymore? Stream CC? What do you mean? Shoe flower. It's a cauliflower. What's that, Rob? Closed captioning? Is it still up? Is it on? Is it on Twitch? I don't know if it's on. This is a terrible hand. Oh, it's still on? I thought I disabled it. Is it like auto on? Because there's meant to be something you opt into. I don't have it. Oh, it is on. Wait, what? It is optionable. Hello? I don't see it. What's going on? I need to look into that. It's auto off. But it works? Because that was a problem before, is that it was auto on. I hope this is muted and you can't hear it. And when it was auto auto on, where is it? It's there. I don't see it. I think I disabled it. Oh, they just scored that. Okay, cool. Anyways, we got to play Netrunner, I guess. Uh, yeah, that was really cool and it actually worked pretty well. I don't get pad tap and Haley. Rich corpse just trash it. Poor corpse are gonna get money away. I don't think any corp can trash pad tap, uh, reasonably. I'll be honest. I feel like pad tab is such a. We should draw once more. I feel like pad tab is just too hard to deal with. No stream inception. Oh. At least you want to watch only one stream, huh? Also, Montreal is less good than Toronto. Ouch. Is this Aaron? I think this is Aaron, right? All right. So we have Aprecia, doesn't let us trash uh, upgrades. I'm assuming that this is a, uh, I'm assuming that this is a, uh, what's it called? Rashida on top of a price act. Staring to the infinite SMH image fall grids. Okay, so we're gonna try and get a game. We technically have a game now, I guess. Uh, accessing is pretty bad. We'll see you at regionals. Oh, you come down. Pretty sure this is Aaron. Uh, yeah, this sucks. 
They're going to draw a lot. I don't want to access now. Obviously, tag or two me damage. I think we just take the two me damage. But actually, having a turntable in this matchup is huge, especially if they score an early food. Should be three of us. Super cool. Yeah, there's a price tag that they rezzed, probably on accident. Uh, oh, not even. They just rezzed on purpose. And it looks like it's just an atlas. So they're just jamming. No, uh, no ability on that, but sometimes you just need to go. And I don't know. It feels like this matchup is always hard to install Proco, but I think we kind of need to. Carry on. Oh, shit. Gotta click on Proco. We don't get a double install here, but I think that's okay. Uh, we d probably don't need uh, this. We probably don't need the Astrolabe. I might be wrong about that. Again, I'm not fantastic at this sort of deck. Uh, so we got to throw out something. I think we're just going to throw this out and the Akamatsu. We have another one. We have a console still. I don't think we're going to use all the MU because we can just pawn this preset soon to get it. Will the regionals be streamed? No, it won't. But I plan to be there and I will record it and I will be putting it up on the channel later. It won't be like videos on this channel used to be where I spent a lot of time like producing them. What's Breaker Suite? Lamb and Golo. Sorry, Lady and Golo. Uh, Nanotech and NT. Like, I feel like I'm not, I'm just setting up. I'm not playing Netrunner. This is bad. This feels bad. I feel like throwing out the R&D interface was wrong now. Yeah, we do have a clot, yeah. What do we do? Like, I, I need as much money as I can. We haven't found an Aesop's Pawn Shop yet. Obviously, these are useless. Installing this as a two-credit play, which isn't fantastic. We'll draw once more, I guess. So we could do single cash throw at the Precia. Or, sorry, double cash throw at the Precia. That's, like, okay. The Precia honestly doesn't trash anything in this matchup besides NGO and uh, Rashida and a small chance that they're running, like, reversed accounts. But it doesn't work on uh, upgrades. Okay, at least we have money. Yeah, this feels bad. We got stim hack your rate. Yeah, do you just stim hack it? Because then it's like two tags. I think we just stim hack it and take the meat damage. I'm assuming it's a Rashida, but it's not even. Hold on. Oh, single advance. Okay. We don't even have to do that. What the fuck is this? Gone back and watched a lot of his old videos recently. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, can you talk critically about them if that's possible? I would like to know what every how those went for most people. Okay, we have the pawn shop. We have notoriety, which is cool. So, what is this? We can just take the tag and clear it. It's an NG. Okay, so technically we didn't make a successful run. That largely doesn't matter. Uh, we're just installing one, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, which card in her hand? Probably the Notoriety, unfortunately. You have No, we have a clone chip, actually. We have two SMCs. I think we can throw out the SMCs. No, we probably need the SMCs. We'll throw out the Notoriety. The problem is that's like we can't recur it. We made a successful run, but we do have a lot of money. Because like I don't have the time to do all the, the animation for all those things, but they were great. I even liked your color commentator, Patrick. <laughs> even. Um, yeah, I just don't have the time to like to uh to build those the way that we used to i was unemployed largely at the time i just graduated college if there's anything if there's like what's the smallest thing that could be added to like a commentary video that would help like what's the smallest thing like i'm talking low effort gains you're way better than i expect to be honest never and streaming in general have changed a lot but you're ahead of time you were ahead of your time well, thank you that's very kind i think we'll push for this we have bad pub we have an smc and we can install the second smc from hand if we need it so while well, we can get through this for two programs. All right, so I guess we pull out our N'Golo. Uh, we also could David this. Now N'Golo actually means that we can, it could be the only program if we wanted to. Huh? Oh yeah, right. Remember we threw out that MU? Feels bad. Oh wow, there's a button to do everything. The math on it was wrong. That's fucking rad. A gender point tracker is like the bare minimum. Okay, yeah, cool. I agree with that. And gen point tracker is the bare minimum. That's five strength. I think we're just gonna pull out a David, which can't be right. Holy shit, everything's so expensive. Should we just stim hack that? I feel like we should have stim hacked that. We spend so much money, we definitely should have just stim hacked that. Luckily, they're on no money. Especially if they fire this, they're on no money. But we have to clear at least a tag. So what do we have? We have Lady, 
which will break it for six, seven, eight. That's almost out of the question. Uh, we have, we can also just make it a barrier. So we can pay two, four, five. That's probably the cheapest. Or make it a code gate, excuse me. Well, the numbers are they wrong. That's really cool. I think since they're on two, you jack out. I don't know. I feel like sunk cost fallacy and all that. It's global food. We'll swap that. We actually wanted them to score, score the global food. Ah, uh, we lost our console. That's a huge thing. Can we reclaim it? Yeah, we can reclaim it. Let's see if they pay the money. I assume they don't. Oh, they do. Oh, we lost clone chip too. Okay. Well, now that we're at two credits, if we click up one more credit, it's actually a mistake because then they can, uh, <laughs> I love how we kept this to mech. If we click up one more, then they can econ warfare us. So I think we're just going to draw manually. Because if we were four, they can econ warfare. Econ is if able. Yeah, we could have jacked out there. If they score the food when we have that in hand, when we have a turntable, it's largely okay for us. Now we can like reclaim turntable run R&D. With two credits, the only thing they can reg is Ashfar probably. Oh, TBTF, never mind. We could be fucked. We still have access to misdirection, I think. Uh, we might want to pawn something here. Pawning the reclaim seems like a mistake. Am I bad at this deck? I feel like I might be. This I never feel like I'm anywhere near as in control as when I uh, play literally anything else. If we install both of these, yeah, I, I don't want to install both of these because then we just lose so much money. Like if we install both of these, next turn we'll probably get a, three credits back, so then we're on four. We can still probably gamble that turn, whatever, yeah, I guess we're going to have to push it to the late game if we're going to do anything here. Hey John, how's it going? It's easy pro con, three times install. Yeah, right? And I'm not even doing that. Now we need a creeper clot on the table. Ooh, card and remote. How's it going? Gun broken says stim hacking is a really rough stop. Yeah, I feel like we definitely wanted to stim hack that. And we'll stim hack it now. We also could, in theory, let all this fire in. That seems bad. Stream starts? Yeah, always at, generally always at 8.45. So almost an hour ago out at this point. So we can do like sure gamble stim hack. That's pretty good. Could just be a IPO. I mean, NGO front. Man, I love that button. I just put the math on his right. It should say three credits. Really good button though. I really like price sec. It's another food. Uh, we'll take two meat. Oh wait, no, we die, we die, we die, we die, we die, we die! So we'll trash that, I guess. Okay, could have died there. <laughs> uh, brain damage, huh? Uh, so two tags obviously an issue. They can kill us because we only have one card in hand. So I feel like we have to pop our misdirection, which sucks because that's expensive. No. Oh, we don't have enough clicks. Oh no, we did anyways. Oh man, yeah, we're fucked. Oops, whoops. Ah, jeez. <laughs> this is bad thing, Shaper. I know, it's fine. <laughs> definitely exactly that way during, Aaron definitely died exactly that way against me in GNK. Ah, uh, this sucks. Here we go. Oh, thanks for not letting me do that. It should be a four counters. It should be a four counters. Aaron, get your shit together. We fucking play this flawlessly and then you let that shit go through? Idiot. <laughs> 
God, price X good. Okay, so what can we do here? No matter what, we die to a single card. They have three of them in the deck. They have two uh, high profile target and they have one consulting visit generally. So we could clear a tag. It means we still die to a single one. We don't die to boom. I feel like not dying to boom and technically is evens our odds because the chance of them if, if we draw two cards we die anyways if we draw one card we die anyways this is title Haley yeah we don't got to imprint anything doesn't have it could be fuck it with me Oh, now they have to draw it, but there's only two of the deck. I keep forgetting misdirection takes two clicks, by the way. That's why I fucked a bunch of that up. Took this to regional. It's really good. Yeah, Chris Dyer took this to everyone. Took this to everything. It's a good deck. Is it better than Ag Infusion? Ooh, good question. All right. Trash your Proco. That's fine. We live. Oh, Haley, title Haley. Oh, yeah, title Haley seems good. I'm playing it like a dum dum. Okay, so we don't get that Proco button anymore, which is a problem because it was a good button to have. And that's all three Procos just right in the row right there. Draw. Okay, we have that. That's good. Draw. Oh, okay. Our money is really bad. And now how do you get money in this deck, right? Like it's what, clone chip? Clone chip, I get the cash over and over again? I think we still gotta reclaim it to turntable, but it's now a lot worse. Caught in hand is fine too, right? What's Beth giving us? Ooh, a credit. Go Beth. Okay, can you reclaim Procon? Uh, no. It has to be a virtual resource. It's program hardware or virtual. Hardware is actually really key. I'm assuming we just now have to get uh, down our uh, R&D interface. Ha, huh, good. Figured that shit out. <laughs> okay, that seems important. You want that to happen. We want also something to pawn. I honestly think that we'll clone... Ah, beans. Beans. We should just click for credit. Why we draw? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> No! Uh, oh, this version of Sandstone, actually. That's interesting. That sucks ass. Well, equivalent, equivalent exchange prevents reclaiming Procon. <laughs> was Plasky too strong in the day? Econ Warfare hard hitting news makes me feel like it could be still be around. Uh, Plasky wasn't too strong. It wasn't. There's ways around it. Plasky, I think, was a boring design. I think there's better designs. But Plasky wasn't too strong. Trigger clone chip. Don't follow. Install out of hand. But didn't we already install that turn? We double installed that turn. We did, we did clone chip RD interface. I feel like we might want to just get cash. I feel like I'm so aggressive. I'm just not ready to set up a shaper and then I just do stupid shit. We got to force some to res here. But I need money. I think we're going to actually clone chip. That we don't install any. Oh, we don't have any MU. Piss. So what do we SMC for? Like, SMC for... What do we SMC for? Like, anything costs two. This sucks. It's a terrible deck. <laughs> All right. On the corpse turn, but we already threw out. We could, like, we could have clone chip there, but like, we don't have any MU, so we could use SMC and then we install something else, but then we still have no MU. I get, and we need to keep this. Uh, oh boy, this is terrible. It's the deck's fault, yes. What is bad about strapping stuff to yourself so you don't die? It seems fitting. It was a good, it was, it was a cool card. Oh man, the, the full alt art, the alt art on it was beautiful. I feel like I, it looks like I'm playing Procon, but I'm not. I should just pawn this SMC, honestly. No, that's probably a mistake. 
So what do we do? I think we just like clone chip over this. Yeah, I'm doing it. Look what a mess. This feels like I know I've made a mess. It feels like now I'm I'm like kneading the pasta with my fingers. Like this is I know this is fucked and I'm sorry you have to watch it and I'm gratefully embarrassed. This is morbidly embarrassing. I gotta keep that clone chip on the table so we can threaten clot. Keep advancing it. What is this shit? Beth has paid off. How else would you need it? I mean like with the spaghetti, like it's all dente, it has sauce on it, it has cheese on it, and I'm in the bowl with my hands. They don't have a lot of money. I feel like we should What is this? Rashida? Is this Rashida? Is this what a psychic field looks like? Fuck it. It's quite the metaphor we've gone on here. I think every once in a while someone... Fuck. In tea. Vanilla. That's hot tech. That's, that's some spicy tech. Man, remember we threw this chip out? We're like, MU won't be an issue. Of course, MU is always an issue. We should have just installed this. What? Oh, I thought it was making asking me to end the run, which is a scary thing to ask me. They can't afford double snare. It's really important. You can play a lot of shape in these Haley decks have a lot of indie syncrasies you get. Yeah, right? All right. Got him. Ha ha. That's okay. That was only eight credits. Two of them were bad pub. And now they're back to two points. This is fine. Hedge fund. TBTF. Bad accesses. Uh, we can just take a credit. This is an NGO front into like... To big to fail is pretty bad. Whew. Yeah, that was a Rashido. There's no reason not to trash it. That means their hand is probably pretty shit. But they're only on two credits, so even... Oh, never mind. <laughs> they can score. <laughs> How many NGO fronts have we seen? I think two? Just one. Hmm. Hmm. That server sucks. There's no easy way to get through this. I think we have to David it. But there's no program destruction. They figured it out. That was turn one. Archer on R&D. I guess we can David it. I'm so excited to sell this cash though. I want them to score food. We know they just drew a hedge fund and the too big to fail and a lot of other stuff. So in theory, they could try and hard hitting news us. There's the econ warfare. I think they will hard hitting news us, honestly, which is pretty good for us. Like we just pawn it. Oh yeah, they had the hedge fund as well. Yeah, this is probably fine, right? Like they did nothing on our turn and we just pawn this, install this, pay for. That's not nothing. And then eventually, I think we even pawn this. That's the second hard hitting news. First, it feels like the second. We still get a credit. So just make sure we have two clicks left. We could clone chip something too, but I want it. Keep this around for a clot. Wait, what? Oh, I'm an idiot. I said keep two clicks left. Uh, I've played Shaper. I've I have I have played Shaper before. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. All right. They got a food down to three. Okay. All right. We pawn this, right? We pawn this. Yeah, we definitely have to pawn this. They're on game point. Pawning the shit out of this. Because we're going to win. We're going to run HQ and we're going to win. That's going to be an Afshar. It's going to be fine. Fuck this card. Fuck this card, actually. We can get rid of this card. Having a Proko would have been so good.
Do we run HQ last click and take two meat damage? It's probably fine. If there is a Tithonium here, I'm going to be upset. Warfare? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Andre, what's up? Happy Thursday. How's it going, Jacobus? We were playing a Shaper deck, and I knew this would be rough, and so I decided to do it publicly. Because I'm a masochist. Alright, I think we really need to reclaim. Oh, they had that too big to fail. Jam. Okay. So we lose if this is one of the... Uh, I don't. Ooh, card draw. Entertainment. <laughs> oh, thank you. Basic action cards are spices tech. I like the overlay. Hey, Andre Tobo. What do you mean? I'm not doing an overlay. What overlay? This is a new J now. We could just like stim hack this thing. It's honestly probably a good thing to do. We'll take two damage. Uh, do we need to spend money on this? This is currently. Free. And this is two, three, four, five. This is, yeah, I'm going to stim hack it. Reclaim stim hack? Yeah, we could reclaim. Actually, maybe reclaiming here first is right. I feel like reclaiming here is good. Jaina looks great. Yeah, it's a new Jaina, eh? They did some really cool things. You'll see right here where this button, this number isn't right, but you can just pay the whole cost at the top. If the number was right, obviously, that'd be like so cool. So this is now technically a three strength. Do you, oh, you know what Ice always wondered? Do you know what Ice always wondered, Andre? What? Oh, what I've wondered? No, what's that? So this is a clever, never a joke. Oh, is the Atlas? Okay, so we couldn't have won. So now this thing is it's useless. So we need to take the tag. This is a price sec, which let's see if they'll pay for it. So we'll trash that for free. Uh, we can remove two tags for, oh, we don't have the thing. Great. Just click for a credit, I guess. This is not going well. <sighs> Your splash can looks like, yeah, one blade, one blade. Looks like that. Do we get warfare again? Looks like we're gonna get warfare again. Or not warfare, but just hard hitting used. Okay. So in theory, in theory, we're fine. We just have to Aesop's pawn shop something. It's one heck of a slash screen. Thank you. We have to pawn shop something. I'm assuming that we just pawn shop uh, the R&D interface. Is clone chip worth using there? Uh, we could clone chip for uh, misdirection. We could also, obviously, I'd rather uh, reclaim from misdirection. So I think we need to pawn the R&D interface, unfortunately. Oh, you have to trash a card from your grip? I've never read that card. Imagine this whole time if every time we, we, we were, we were, uh, Drawing, we got a credit at the same time. I'll take my clicks now, <laughs> thank you. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Do we have a splash command? Oh my god, that would be annoying. Are you not decking after this or more Haley? We're playing a bit more Haley and then I think we're gonna build something. All right, they have more money than us. That's fine, I think. Cause we got this card, which honestly we haven't seen any data ravens yet, which is kind of weird. We have no HQ pressure at all, I don't think. Maybe one leg work? Not even. Ooh. We need some money. Let's get a sweet ass double install here. Fuck you. Single install it is. We can always pawn this if we just need two credits next turn. But like, there's only one Atlas left. That's a surveyor. Okay, do they win? Nah, it's unlikely they won here. Unlikely. Oh, I really don't think that's the Atlas. That could be the last Atlas. What do they do? They draw first, ice install. It's could be last Atlas. I'm assuming it's not. Ah, it's unlikely ah, to be a Rashida. Could be a Prysec. 
And chances of being the last atlas are so <laughs> it was likely are like so uh low if you ask me we could david run r d we get a single we have again no multi oh we do have r d interfaces but we need more money i feel like we just probably uh maybe draw once click for two astrolabe that's useless i feel like this nanotech is useless too Okay, we could have just lost here. Obviously, we could have just lost. It's unlikely for that to be what I think it is. There's no way they're going to advance that three times. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. We called it right. We're the best. Are we going to start running HQ? <laughs> More like last list. Yeah, last, last. Ooh, they're drawn up heavily. So what's left in their deck? One uh, of, so there's two hostels. They could score both of them. That'd be good for them, obviously. Uh, so there's two hostels. There's one Oak Town, which they could jam in the remote, but then we would know and we just run it, which would be a problem if they have border control only, which they still have three in their deck they haven't shown them. Um, and that could be it. It's all Astro and Pawn is more worth than a click on a buck. Oh, fuck me. What am I doing? We installed nothing. Okay, Pawn Shop deck. Got it. Running archives honestly is pretty interesting. Yeah, we should always install. We can run archives. We could run HQ next. I don't think there's anything that tricks us. Oh, there's a standoff. That's annoying. So we just clear the standoff tag. We throw two half shares and an archer. I'll just remove the tag. Okay. That's an annoying card. So actually, fuck, if we did reclaim our turntable, we would have won the game. Yeah, we probably should have just slammed turntable. It's way too good in this matchup. Did we click for a credit there? No. Okay. Is this the Atlas? More likely to be the Atlas, especially because they just Econ Warfare does. So what do we do? Same with Hunting Grounds? Yeah, we could have got the Hunting Grounds online. So obviously this could be the Atlas. I'm still betting it's not. I think we just play this down, run HQ, run R&D. No thanks. Uh, in theory we died a snare. We haven't seen any data ravens. There actually might be snares in this deck. Oh, there's a data raven. We lost our hunting grounds. That's a fuck off. They did res though. And they would only res if there's an agenda here, if that's the winning agenda. So we'll take a tag, and they can trace us. We have no link. Did I tell them to trace us? Uh, you can trace. I guess we'll just pay three. Run HQ twice in the remote? Yeah, that's probably the best case. Uh, if we're doing that, though, I guess that was free money, so we could always pay into that. That's a sandstone. You talk to guys saying sandstone. Single sub ice are a bit broken. So we could always run this. It's more likely to be the winning agenda in there now. <laughs> we could run now and then just like, oh, no, we can't. We don't have misdirection. I always think we have misdirection installed. We don't have misdirection installed, it seems. We could run R&D. So this has to be the Atlas. It's the only card we lose to. So one and whatever. We could run this again, then run R&D. Yeah, I'm going to run this again, run R&D. I don't think we can get through this. This is probably a border control. We can probably get through that, actually. Whatever, we'll do HQ again. I'm assuming they're not boosting. There's no way they're boosting. There's a border control they can't score. That's true. That's another sandstone. Okay, so we're dead here if we don't access. We've committed. We don't need to do this. We could have just waited, but I hate losing for doing nothing. And we'll just went off of a lucky top deck. Oh, wow, this is really cool. They did a lot of work to JNet. They can gain two. Single access off the top. That's a winning point. Good game. Not even close. Not even sweating. <laughs> oh, Aaron. Oh, damn, we're good. Rashida. E.
all right, it's Raven. So if there is a Raven, it's fine for us, right? Because they can't score. So that's Rashida, which is going to draw less, the rest of their deck. Obviously, we would have died there because we would have ended on two tags, and they definitely have a high-profile target. They even haven't thrown any out. They're just keeping them in hand. And there's one more hard-hitting news in the game. So this list is just a bit different. Any border control? Surprised. Wow. Wild. I wrote surprise. That's fine. Rip City. Yeah, we're good. It's too expensive. Interesting. It's a good ability, though. If you want to play more Glacier and less Rush, like a border control on this server is way good. Also, I don't know if they can purge, but eventually a standstone's a problem. I'd rather sandstone. Neat. No turntable. Yeah, turntable would have won the game a while ago. If this is Aaron, Aaron's <laughs> a really nice dude. GG. All right, we'll get another one in. We're getting better at this, right? Maybe this deck is really good, and if I just fuck it around, like if I just, just again, hands in pasta, hey, cheers, uh, and it can still like win against, I'm assuming, a competitive deck. It's probably the best deck ever made. If we can like, just like sh shape it in there. This deck is a plane and you're the pilot, I'd buy a ticket. Hey, that's a nice compliment. I probably should just set up. I should probably just be like, I'm putting on Proko. You win the first three turns, but then I'm gonna win every other turn. And it's probably like first five turns. Nobody jam. It's another good reason why like Mushin turn one is so good. Because so many shapers want to be like, oh no, I'm just going to set up. It's cool. We're motioning Thomas Haas is out here though, so. Somebody singing in the car outside. It's like really loud and not particularly good. Hey, Ghost Dog, how's it going? It's Netrunner still being printed. I thought it ended. Uh, FFG ended the support for the game, but... It's been almost a year. There's like an official fan group. Not a fan group, but I don't know what the right term is. It's called Nisei. Check it out on nisea.net. And they're printing new cards. Um, and they're running tournaments and they're doing everything. So like they have a regional that is on um, this weekend. So it's kind of very similar, but they have like new cards. This is an alt art for IPO, but they also print new cards. Uh, there's a cycle that came out. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, sure. Well, welcome, by the way. This probably isn't the best way to practice for a regional. Played on Jaina recently, and I really missed to play against some criminals. They become so rare. Yeah, I'm thinking playing criminal on Saturday, I'll be honest. Um, I, yeah, I don't have any new cards in here, but they're new. I would show you what the card back looks like. I don't think I have any in range of me, unfortunately. Maybe I do. Maybe I'll just stand up. I'll stand up. This is a new card here on the screen. Actually, fuck it. There you go. This is a new card. That's a new ID. Solved it. <laughs> All right, they're new a player. That actually might mean a slow game too, unfortunately, but I don't know. I never want to say no, I'm a new player. And you're like, fuck off. Like, that's so shitty. You always say yes. Best of luck. Have fun. So, most important thing is we're going to min-max. We're going to play everything perfectly. And we're going to take our time doing it. Of course, this is Mirror Morph, which can fast events. We got that sweet, sweet clot in hand, which means it is only online if we either have a clone chip or a self-modifying code on the table. Because then we can fire it and then pull a card from hand. Uh, we do have the pressure opening. We could, in theory, R&D lock them if we just get our money up and slam those down. And then it's really hard. Like R&D lock is way stronger than it used to be with no Jackson Howard. There's no shuffle effects, no mass draw effects. Uh, that's pretty good for us. Ooh, I don't know what any of this does. We do have three Parishas, or two, two Parishas. So it looks like we're on Jammin' Server 1. I don't know, we could face check here. I don't think there's anything that bad on the face check. The only problem is that uh, we'll spend our money trashing stuff. So we just want to find a Proko. Uh, is Hunting Grounds good in the matchup? It's good against Slot Machine, it's good against Low Key. I think that's the only stuff that I would consider seeing here. We probably just do CIP block at some point. 
I think we can draw once more and probably just throw this out and get another better resource so we didn't find it. That sucks. I guess we will install it. No, that feels bad. Chat, what do you do here? What do you do? Do you install hunting grounds? I don't think so. I just don't think it's going to matter in the matchup. You can pawn it. It's kind of neutral. Okay, that's that's true. I guess we can pawn everything. But we're going to be on low credits. Like We're not going to be able to proco for a bit. I don't know. It feels real bad. And we're just going to throw out the clot, I guess. Nah. Ooh, like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to keep our R&D interfaces. That seems really good. So I, I guess we'll throw out... Yeah, fuck it, the cloud, whatever. We'll find a clutch up. If you click from Haley and Pawnee makes it worth it. Yeah, that's totally true. I got I gotta embrace that more. I'm trying to play as aggressively as possible. Like, I need to be up turn two, and as opposed to like, oh, I'm gonna be up turn nine. Alright. Vitruvius? No Vitruvius. Okay, this is the thing about new players, is you can't tell what's up. This could be like the biggest June bug ever. We'll find out though. Yo, pawn chop. How's it going, Jogging? Yeah, we are pawning stuff. We could die to Dune Bug. That's fine. It's a fair child three. We'll just click through that. They have no money, most importantly. Uh, we can't steal it if it's an Ikawa, but neither can they. So this is probably fine. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, we're going to pawn stuff. This is good because we got our money taken away while we spend our whole turn doing this. Yeah, okay. So, not in the ice you want to jam behind. Uh, we respect it. You can also pop it when you're desperate from credits. Oh, yeah, fuck. This has a pawn chop value attached to it. Nice. Here's three credits. <laughs> Hello, pawn shop? Yes, I have money. The only reason I can win, no one understands what the hell I'm doing. Yo, Maddie, the way that you play is like, it's, you do really, yeah, it's not the way, all, like, there's this, like, zeitgeist, like, this idea of, like, people install advance advance is always the way to go, but, like, you always install advance advance Nisei Mark II's. And like Nisei Mark II's have such a better value than when you're thinking, oh, the Pollen is going to score an Obakata pro protocol. And so nobody runs it. And then you install Advance Advance at like a Nisei. It's good stuff. More people need to do that. I swept Dandy that way. <laughs> the Bond Shop. Undefeated IRL. The Dan matchup. All right. So maybe this is a good time for new players. But one of the best things you can do uh, to get better at the game is plan your turnout. So, for instance, they installed in server one and then they drew. And there's a chance that the card they drew is better than what they would have put in the server. So they thought, I want to install this card in the server no matter what. They can do it later on in the turn, right? And just get more options. I think I say that all the time. All right, well, Proco is where we want to go next turn. So I feel like we're going to do nothing. Oh, this deck is so clumsy at the beginning. And we can just do credit install Proco. No, we can just do it next turn. So I think we just install this and install this and don't get value from it. Okay, I feel like that's the best because we can still proco. Ah, uh, yes, I'm a pro. Oh, yes. All right, so they have two credits, still not threatening. We also know that this is a restricted card, so we don't have to play around like, what? Low key is restricted? They got to restrict Jinja, right? We have played three times. You've not lost to Dan? Dan's got to be scared of you now. Who's that loud guy with a stim plant? He keeps winning. All right, icing up the R&D with only two credits. Not a lot of threat here. Uh, in theory, uh, Hagen's actually been a pretty good face check as a new card. It's been ruining my criminals that are checking with their Amakuas early. Ah, it's a daily quest. All right. We honestly probably go and trash that daily quest, right? Like, we got to keep their money down. I'll spend our whole turn doing it. Actually, we'll even probably, like, self-modifying code into Priest, yeah. Like, we need to trash this. With Priest, yeah, we trashed it for one credit. Oh, they should get, you should get an extra click. Your ID ability. Cool, cool. Can you just get a credit? Okay, cool. All right, what do we do here? We could play Poco or we could go trash this. I feel like trashing this seems really important. I think we're going to go trash it. Using our early SMC is not that bad because we have clone chips. So we're going to run server one. Uh, we're just going to click through this again. This is not going to protect itself. And this needs to die because their money's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll do Parisia. Install from a grip? No, thanks. I want to be able to Proco next turn. All 
All right, so that just cost us one credit and our whole turn. It's probably worth it. That's a really good time to stretch a daily quest. I don't think HP is a restricted card right now. Yeah, they don't, do they? What would you play? Ooh, attitude adjustment. We probably should just run HQ there, but we're just setting up. Retrievers and corporate sales team into R&D. Got some money for it as well, for the trouble. Uh, we could just pre HQ. They probably have a lot of trashables. I'm assuming like a Maryland will end up in server one. You play food? Yeah, I guess it's food. Mogo? Mogo's not that good. Even people who play next dice don't play Mogo, which is wild. Excuse me. It's probably food. Survey is what I'm playing in my... Yeah, Surveyor could be it, but Surveyor's not restricted anymore, right? All right, they get another credit. Cool. All right, here we go. We're off to the races. No double install, but we don't need it because our co is pro. Fuck. Perfect. All right. So what do we do? Do we pressure? Like, I love that. I want to play criminal right now and run HQ, and the fact that we're just, like, waiting drives me nuts. Remember FC3? Yeah, FC3, Eli was restricted. People don't even play Eli as a choice anymore. That's one influence. There's like HB decks that don't play Eli. <laughs> For sports combat. So it's clone chip? Yeah, yeah. But that this was only restricted because of Parasite. Largely. All right, this score of Vitruvius here is like totally cool with us. So, do you play two food, three combat, three retrievers? Seems bad. No. No, the thing is, like, if you play food, you want to play no real three pointers. Because if you play th food as your three pointers and you play only other two pointers, they need to score four agendas to win on average. As soon as you play a three point, a real three pointer in the deck, they only need three agendas. Like, there's you don't play a cow and food in the same deck, I don't think. Clone Chip gets punished for other cards. Yeah. Yeah. So, we could pro go once more and then double install. Doesn't feel great. Ooh, look at all that value. We're at zero credits. We're threatening nothing. Oh, Tapworm too, right? Architect was what? <laughs> yeah, Architect. That was a problem too. Wait, did they advance last turn? What happened? Wait, what are they doing? Oh, they advanced. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, in theory, we could probably just stim hack this remote and we'll be fine. Again, we just died to big traps, but what else is new? I hope they res on this remote as well. Yeah, we died to so many things. <laughs> Hello, this is a pawn shop. Ooh, really cool. So we're going to click through one of them. They have no money, which is the biggest deal because this can't be a trap anymore besides like, what, Ghost Branch? Is that still around? I think it is. And then we're just going to clone chip for SMC. And we can actually just clone chip for uh, get David on the table. I think that's probably better. But we want our N'Golo anyways. So we can like clone chip for SMC and then install uh, David. Or we can get N'Golo out. I feel like we're going to not use any of our money from the... No, that's probably enough. Uh, do we install it? Well, how much is, I don't think we need it. It's nice though. If we do this, yeah, whatever, we'll do it. Did I fuck the math up? Oh, I did fuck the math up. Oh, I fucked the math up. <sighs> fuck. Two. <laughs> yeah, I don't want, I'm not going to install this. I don't need that. Oh, we could have just used the David. Ah, fuck. No, no, never mind. Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. Never mind. I'll commit. I'll commit. I'm just going to redo that, huh? So here we go. We'll just install the David and use it. Yeah, we're going to break with David. I realized we could have break with David. I was like, wait, I'm being really shitty for taking this back. My bad. 
Servia really ought to be restricted, though. You really think so? Yeah, I think SMC D4 is probably enough. I just want to use our money. You're restricting an ice, you should do border control. Yeah, border control is a good card, though, but I see it, like border control is more ought to be restricted than, uh, than, than Surveyor. Surveyor is just an ice. It's just a good ice with one subroutine if you're going to tag me, which, you know, I know you can't always. Yeah, we'll just do the David. Uh, we'll pull out the Ngolo. And then we'll just break with this. We'll break all of them. Oh, this should have counter. We didn't use the counters on it. Oh, don't make me play Shaper on stream. It's another food. Feels good. Okay, cool. BC taxes clicks. Gets so big, shuts off servers. Yeah, border control is nuts. Border control is really good. It's very, very good. But like, corps need that because like runners will just poop on them. You need an unfair sounding card. We would really need to phone that Aesop guy up. Oh, we lost a sure gamble, which sucks. This is our first stim hack? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like border control is more balanced than like Nisei Mark II. Or sorry, Caprice. I don't know. It's good. Where's our favorite CD location? Yeah, right? We need to do a populist rally. We have no location to do with then. What's with that? I think we're going to Proker. I think we're going to run R&D. With one credit, they're really not threatening much. I guess that could be assembly lines and they could have like three credits. It's a cold site server. Why are they clicking that? I'm not running this server. Okay, so they definitely shouldn't be clicking that. That's a waste of time. I guess it's free, right? Because they get a credit back. So it's just kind of like styling. Okay, that sucks. Uh, we're going to run R&D. We got C2 cards. In the, actually, we could install this and run R&D. Whatever, we're going to run R&D just so we can steal the combo if it's in there. What side? Sure Gamble's only his deck and increase the chance of Procon cast install. Am I right? Yeah. Then pick all the subs on the left. Oh, thank you. That's an Architect coming up. That's an Ichi coming up. So, like, old school ice. Hey, we found him! Hey, he's here! Hey, what's his name? I assume it's Aesop after considering it. Yeah, I'm pretty confident his name is Aesop's. Plural. <laughs> Possessive. This is actually a pretty cool combo, right? I think this card is probably better than it looks like. Please don't ask about his arm. Is that what it asks us to not ask about? Oh yeah, very much don't do that. I love that he loves it. Yeah, somebody made this like cube draft and they actually made it as like a sacrificial construct and it's like the coolest thing. Cold side is incredible. It's okay. I like it a fair bit. I think it's cool. Just gaining two, gaining three. All right, five credits. They drew an architect. Running HQ could be good, but again, we're going to play that control game. We're on, uh, we can win in two agendas, which is a fair bit. So I think we're just going to proco first. We're going to Proko second, third, you know it, Proko. And then we're going to install two of these. So Beth is going to give us at least a credit probably. Ah, beans, beans. When did we take that brain damage? Uh, Nanotech actually probably is reasonable. They have architects. As long as we're not paying all the money. Uh, they probably don't have low strength barriers. I don't think Inti is particularly good. We could have pawned it, I'm aware. But it's probably worse than everything else. Never remembers the brain damage? Yeah. That's the real brain damage there, huh? Well, pawn the David. Ooh, expensive. Again, drawing second click. You never want to do that. Plan your whole turn. Install a combo advance. Take three clicks from FCOM. Yeah, the the full uh, FCOM combo with uh, Cold Sight's good. I just wish FCOM could get more value. Like, as soon as you have another card that gives FCOM value, sign me up. Because I hate scoring that card. But I totally agree with you. FCOM's hilarious. Until they, like... Paul Oppit or some shit. Okay. Running archives. Okay, so we're going to pawn the David. We're going to get credit for free. I think we just want to uh, basically get R&D interface and another hardware. I said another hardware. I 
I said. Wow, that's awkward. Didn't we talk about this? We talked about this. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, we could stim hack. Feels pretty bad. We're just gonna run R&D. This will lock him again. So they just drew an E chief, if I'm not mistaken. They could res here. Top of their res range is Architect, which we can still break for like five credits. Ooh, Hagen. Excuse me. That's annoying. Uh, we don't have a good way to deal with that. We could clone chip Dave. Just kidding. Uh, I guess we're gonna... We don't want to lose our Precia. We actually could lose our Precia. It doesn't matter. How much is it to break? It's two, four, whatever. It sees a lot of cards. It's six. That's expensive. <sighs> we're good. As a new player, if I saw N'Golo, I'd be so upset. Like, so much of the game back then was like, oh, do they have the proper breaker? And now it's just like, this guy fucking kicks through everything. Three off the top. This is a CST. That's good. Uh, MC Austerity. Yeah, we can trash it. We don't want them to draw it. This is not installed cards, yeah. It's not like Miss Bones. Oh, that's the game. All right. I don't think our opponent had many plays. I feel like if they protected um, their... Any tips? Uh, if you watch the VOD after, you can hear uh, myself talking about it as it goes. Biggest things, I think. Yeah, rushing behind the ice I can click through is super risky. Uh, protecting your economy on the same front would have been important. Um, a really good overall thing to do is to plan your turnout. So, for instance, you don't end up drawing second click when in theory you could be drawing first and then making smarter decisions with more options. That makes sense. Kenny Deacon's ruining the whole game for us. <laughs> Going to four advances on the second GFI as well is not a good idea. Yeah, exactly. Also, in terms of agendas, uh, the majority, uh, the, a lot of, so a 5-3 agenda can be scored with minimal investment in two turns. First turn, you install, advance, advance. Second turn, finish it off. As soon as you do things like install, you start getting it to four counters and then leaving it, or three counters, it's going to be on the table for longer. And I have more time to get it. Assuming there's no traps. And I'm not scared of advanced cards. You're right, we could have popped grounds on that turn just to get stepped upon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you spend less money if they, if they get it for sure. It helps, it helps. If the Hagen and the FC3 were reversed, you'd have your, uh, what's it called, daily quest ticking. And your money would be good. I'm streaming live now on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, both called uh, Metropol Grid, and the VOD can be seen later recorded on either. Cool, okay, we'll grab another game. I think we gotta play another one with this deck. Maybe we'll, I think we'll try something right after that. Um, if we play one game convincingly well, and we'd be like, oh, that, that felt good, uh, maybe we'll move on quick, 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 faster. Awesome to watch you tutoring, the great ambassador for a &R. Oh, thank you, John, that's very kind.
Hey, hey, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Best of luck out there. I don't know. This is like a thing I also really miss. And I, I do this less and less uh, on, on Jaina. This has to step in more on Octagon. Where, and I guess it's different because I'm obviously streaming and like we want to move between games and stuff like that. But after games, I would always stay in the lobby and ask like, hey, what's up? How did that go? Um, and that sort of stuff is like super important because you get not only like good ways to get better, but you get those kind of fun stories like, oh, man, at this point I had five agendas in hand and stuff like that. Uh, but like asking after the game, I think especially if you're new to Netrunner, you want to get better at Netrunner, uh, any of those, like anybody really. And you ask like, hey, what could I have done? Uh, not only is it going to be interesting, but it's 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 you'll get better. And also it's yeah, it's generally pretty fun to hear the stories. Um, yeah. Cool. Gaslight. Do recognize his name? Ooh, OK, Paulina, 49 cards. Our opening seems good enough. Do you open with credit, 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 pa, Proco Daily Cast? I think that's what you do, right? I think you click to eight Proco Casts. You don't click to six double daily, right? I feel like you definitely do Daily Cast Proco turn one. Hey, Lori. That's why I'm loving the current SORCX. Chatting with my opponents after matches having a great time. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, that's it's probably actually a really good uh, uh, time to do that. That's the teaching league, or is it the organized play? That's a teaching league, right? Against Polina, there could be a lot of things. I think we're seeing uh, punitive sneak back in. I think a lot more people are trying to play data ward, which I see a lot more people playing hunting grounds, so I'm not entirely sold on it. Uh, there's also a bit of fast advance. Some people are sneaking in the 3-2 package and playing like Shimmer from Tenon or even Biotic, which we can deal with. We can. It's kind of difficult too, though, because as soon as they do install advance, we have to interact with it. Stimac Online Cache Refresh 10. Okay, cool. So it's just the SOCR. The, 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 that was a numeral. That's super cool. I still don't know a lot about uh, CR. So sort of competitive with limited pools to shenanigans. Yeah. I like where there's the forced creativity of the limited pool, which is a weird thing to say, right? But I guess like, you know, restrictions breed creativity. That's kind of like a motto of art to some extent. <laughs> a motto of art. I'm a really deep dude. I hope everyone knows that. All right, here we go. Uh, so this Proco, mind you, Apollina gets credit the first time we draw. So this Proco means a lot of times we'll draw three times a turn. So maybe in the next turn we don't draw. It's unlikely. We're probably just going to feed them a lot of food and then a lot of money. I guess we get the food at the end of the day. They're drawing up heavily. Don't know what's going on exactly here. Uh, let's check if they mulligan or not, but this could just be a trap deck. I don't know. They mulligan, so they could actually just be in a bad spot. Server one, uniced card. Don't know what that is. Could be Rashida's Psychic Field. Uh, snare. Not actually sure what that could possibly be. I feel like an, 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 an like there's not really a lot we have to respect here. I just want to get that down. Oh my god, we're so good at this game. Oh, what's even better? Ooh, what's better? I feel like we don't need the Proco right away. I feel like we could just do these two. I mean the pawn up, sorry, because we can't, there's nothing to pawn yet. We'll pawn next turn. That's the opening we wanted always in so far this whole evening. I feel like my my I heard my watch vibrate. It's a personalized portal. This is a fast events deck. Okay, cool. So they're going to force us to draw and then play something like, uh, oh shit, I always forget the name of the card. It basically says if you have enough of the same card to card in hand, uh, you can put counters on a thing. Oh, they also preemptive. They probably preemptive the agendas back. A focus group, I think it's called. Focus group. Thanks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrence as well. So we can clot that luckily. Uh, we're going to be drawing a fair bit. So... We could just do a single Proco here. We could also install two pieces of hardware and then throw out the Eclat. In theory, we want to break out. Like, Haley's actually really good at fighting against this. Not only does she get added benefit, but uh, she can um, make sure that she gets multiple of the same type at a card, at a hand. So right now, we are holding four pieces of hardware. I think that's what Focus Group does, right? They would call hardware, but they don't know anything about our hand if we don't run. Uh, they're also probably on a slot machine, which we do have tech for. So we can install the Aesops just upon the daily cast. I feel like that's fine. And we should throw out the other Aesops. Uh, we, in theory, could install it, trashing the other one. So we can keep our hand size down, which is hard. Again, they're making credit a turn. We could probably want to go trash this. The misdirection also is just like Aesops fodder. 
Uh, so we just need to get an SMC on the table, and then we can start face checking. Or an Angola, whatever comes first. It's more likely to be SMC. They have 19 credits. And if we don't run, they can't look at our hand. We'll pawn this. Ooh, we have, we have pretty money now. Let's pro-co. Let's pro-co. Uh, we can double install. No reason to go too big. And we can put the misdirection down just so we can pawn it. I forgot we had another click. Uh, that's quite okay. So we have three hardware, two program. Not amazing. Uh, we can, in theory, now get the clot on the table as long as once this is trashed. So next turn. We could proco here to throw a card out. Uh, it's probably better to do that. Yeah, than just clicking for a credit. No, I think we'll throw out... Uh, I always feel bad throwing this out. It's all clot force the purge. Ah, oh, you're right. That's not terrible. It's definitely an option. We actually could have, uh, yeah, we could also just throw in the clot out so that we have a clone chip target because they could be on our lockdown. Personality, pro personality profiles, Paulana feels good. Personality profiles. Is that an HB thing? Time walks are good. Yeah, they're losing a turn. Feels okay. I think we're going to go and trash this. I think we're just going to get our N'Golo down and trash it. I think we're going to do like Gamble and N'Golo. Uh, we might not want to draw this turn. I don't know what this could be. They're icing up everything. They're playing like RP, right? Replicating perfection. Personalized portal, yeah. It feels good. It's just money for you. They also get a card. Oh, they get money too. I totally forgot this gets money. Okay, fuck. We definitely need to trash this. I thought this was just like agroplex. Jeez, okay. We in theory can install both of them. We have five clicks. That's what we goofed last turn. I think we will install both of them. Five trip a turn. Is that what it was? Is that why they have so much money? I think that's why they have so much money. We just let this go for a bit. Oh, it's Harvester. Uh, no, unfortunately, we're going to break that. It's for four. It's really expensive for one cost ice. Actually, oh, we could have let one of those fire. Actually, hold on. Oh. Yeah, we draw three cards, we discard one. That's totally fine. So we can discard a card here, we'll get rid of Proko. We've already drawn this turn, right? So this doesn't do anything. Oh no, we haven't. Okay, well, whatever. This card's interesting. Uh, so we can get a Prusia. We're gonna play full value for this, which is only three. Uh, at this point, we've already drawn, so we can Proko once again. We have double installed. I don't think we're going to need this. Next turn, we can put these two down on the table, which is pretty good. So I think we're just gonna take a credit and throw this one out. I don't wanna keep drawing. We're we're pretty far into our deck. Draw every turn. I was giving them a draw on three creds every turn. Fuck. I don't know how well they're going to be able to capitalize on the money. They can look at our hand now. Uh, we actually can't. We should have pawned this, I think, last turn. Because we can't pull out Clot if they need to. Uh, just because we don't have a way to install a program. Install Clot? Yeah, okay. We, uh, we're we going to install Clot next turn for sure. Server 2. Not sure why they have multiple servers. Could be a fast advance trick right here, but they'd have to guess. There's an upgrade. Uh, what could that be? Obokata plus like Ronin or what's his name? Musashi. Okay, so now we're starting to get MU problems. I think we're gonna double install this, and we can just put the claw on the table. This could just be a score. It very easily could be a score. Uh, we have nothing to pawn next turn, so we could either put the clot down or the cash, or in theory both. We'll just take this before they can purge. It's a pawn target. Yeah, we could. We probably want to go for the double install there, but we didn't have MU. So we're going to pawn the, the cash. And we can keep our clone chips for... That's like the, where the skill cap in this deck comes, is from knowing how to spend your resources. Like, we could always just, like, clone chip caches. Our money is never as good as I want it to be. Also, we have all these one-costers. Could we Hushuk? I guess we have five right now. It's probably a bit above curve. Beth also giving us five clicks a turn. Seems good. This card's nuts. How does this cost two? This card could easily cost four and people would still probably play it. Ah, oh, hey, provoke the purge. Fantastic. 
You wanna go check out what this is? I kinda do. What could it be? Uh, we can die in theory if it's like snare into Hokusai. It's a Malinzi. And a code replicator. Okay. This one's pretty expensive. This one's pretty expensive. So thinking. Run past the res eyes, protecting you must trash first run to approach that piece of ice. So we can jack out. So we're gonna break it once at least. We could take a net damage. Oh, we just paid nine. Okay. Shocking that in the pack that Beth came out the shaper was one of the that came out the worst. Is that true? Is she come out with also like everything else? So again, trash it, we can jack out, which is totally fine. I think we will. So we're just gonna jack out, whatever. So David gets to do that relatively well. We have an SMC. We have a double install right in hand. We don't have the MU for it. She came in the same back as Temujin Paperclip. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yep. You can jack out on the jack out as long as you've done one ice. Done is not the right word. Hey, Angola, it's cheaper. No way. How's it going, Julian? Oh yeah, fuck, that was two credits cheaper. That's crazy town. You just can't jack out of your first approach per run. All right, wow, yeah, okay, so we could have saved two credits. I didn't even bother checking it. I was like, oh, well, hey, there's David. I was like, there's no way. Uh, so I think we're just gonna do David and uh, Inti. I feel like we don't have another good double install. We can proco once more, actually, we have five clicks. I didn't mean to click that button twice. There's no way, that was a misclick. Uh, uh, come on. That sucks. Okay, whatever. We just drew more for value. We're holding like four programs, so the fast advance for them is really easy. They actually, I think, are going to arc lock down our clot. I think we need a pressure HQ here. Yeah, like we want to install the cash there and the David. So they can score their, uh, what is it, medical? Or is it just like a Yu Gi Oh! There's no action I can do here. It was installed for more than one turn. Uh, all good. Nope. So they're asking for clot, but like this has already been on the table for a turn, and clot's only for the turn that's installed. So it's not like we're going to be pulling out the source. So they don't actually have to wait for an action here, I don't think. Oh, that's why. Ha. Nice. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that's really funny that they asked. I wouldn't have. Okay, so Clot's out of the game. All right. Clot is out of the game. So that's another console. Or sorry, another uh, the asset that makes us draw shit. Okay, I still think we're fine. Uh, we just run HQ here. I think we'll just put cash on David. Uh, we have nothing to pawn, do we? No. Seven's generally enough to get through anything. So we just make it successful on every turn. That's why they iced up archives, because they're definitely on shipments. So what do we lose? I don't think we lost anything important. We lost our inti. I think that was the worst part. But like, they can't afford to res Lindsay's now. We do have a David, so even like an Anansir DNA tracker here is like, not fantastic. Oh yeah, wow. It's a Chiyashi. We have no AI. They're down to two credits. That's really good for us. Uh, okay. We're just gonna go ahead and break. Oh, that's a really cool interface. I like it a lot. So, wow. So they definitely have agendas in here if they rezzed. Yeah, there's another Kronos. Uh, we can just run R&D here. They can res like what? Harvester? They can res um, Yagura, Aiki. Aiki is likely to be in their deck. As obviously as we know Harvester is. Yagura yeah, less so. Yeah, there's the Aiki. Oh, we forgot to take this money, excuse me. We could have got CVS. Uh okay, so we can play a side game. This is actually kind of expensive. Oh, that's an interesting interface. That's wow, that's really cool. Oh, we have to manually remove tokens. Ah, fuck. 
I don't care to draw. Alright, so we're not drawing. That's fine. Do we already draw this turn? It's an Amor. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not going to break this. We could end Golo it, but like, we just can fire once. It's fine. We have clone chips. We can fix anything here. We did lose a reclaim, didn't we? Amor. David only took one counter? Yeah, we fixed it. It didn't work right. How's it going, Zach? Yeah, it's super slick. Oh, that can fire. Yeah, that's totally fine. All right, so what do we lose? R&D interface, that's pretty good. We lost uh, Notoriety, sad face. And Aparicia, medium sad face. Two cards from deck, that's a mental health clinic. Uh, wish we had the Aparicia. I think we've lost, no, just one of them so far. Uh, yeah, we don't want them to have that. And then a Lindsay, which they really can't afford. So we've already drawn this turn, I'm pretty sure, so we can proc on once more. We still have full hand size. So this is going to be one that they, they can't actually... Oh, it's a mental health clinic. I assumed it was the other one. Our hand size is now also six, which means it's a lot easier to run into the harvester and let the subroutine fire. Okay, so now they drew unknown, a card. We can run Aiki for cheap. It's only three credits, four credits, actually. Wow, that's kind of not cheap. That's not cheap. Admin three would do well. We also can just run archives, probably. Single sub ice broken on Jaina at the moment. Okay. Oh wow. Single sub ice. Single sub ice. They got the buff. They got a huge buff. I'm assuming everything is in R and D, but like I don't know. Do we just, we just have to. Everything is in HQ. Excuse me. We didn't even get bath value. I feel like now we just like clone chip caches and precias and stuff because our clots aren't that good. <laughs> Hmm. 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 We actually honestly should clone chip uh got rid of David first. Uh we can run. I think we'll run this first. I think it's just easier to uh do that. Okay, never cheap. Yeah, it's never cheap. It's annoying. It's three credits actually. It's like easier with black orchestra, which is wild. So I'm not paying to draw cards, because we can just Proco. And our hands size is six anyway, it's like it's not that bad. Cool. Cards. So we're gonna see a couple here. Again. Uh there I definitely have some fetal AI. What do we lose? Oh, we lost our claim. Yeah, we'll steal it. I wasn't playing around that card. And Kumainu. Which uh we have tech for. So I think we want to keep this in hand for sure. We don't have a double install. We did draw, so. And they paid money to make us draw too, which is really cool. I think we actually could just clone chip for like a uh, cash or something. We could actually clone chip for misdirection or sorry for uh, Parisia. But I feel like we just need the money. So I'll do this just so we can double install. Oh, I fucked up. Well, we're losing money now on that. Never have as much MU. I keep forgetting that this is two. So we do have the tech. Uh, we could draw up more, but I feel like that's an issue. Ah, it's not going our way. It's not going our way. I think we just slam R&D every turn. So we stole one and the next was a Komenu. So now there's two unknown cards. We just want to get the R&D interface down. Yeah, we'll get the R&D interface down and just lock them. And then we only have to run once every three turns. Give or take. It's probably the Kumeino. Could be a Lindsay too, they can't afford it. We in theory want them to res the Kumainu first. Right? Like we want them to res the Kumainu, which has good synergy with mental health clinics, so we pay five for it. Ah fuck it. I think we're just gonna Ooh, Astrolabe. I think we're gonna surprise them. So we already drew this turn. So we haven't made a successful run, honestly. I forgot about that. So what, do we just run archives? Oh, they have Lindsay money? Oh, because we drew. Oh, we fucked it up. Okay, we're going to run archives just so they can't fast advance from hand. Because hand, we have no good way of dealing with Chiyashi besides like David Recursion, which honestly isn't that bad. Huh. That's another four credits. It's a bad trade. 
for us. Okay. Yeah, we have no good way to make a pressure run on HQ. Like, we have no turning well, no legwork. Daviding for singles through uh, Chiyashi feels bad. Man, admin at three would be so good in this deck. Is there a reason why this deck doesn't play admin? Because it does have ways to deal with IP block and with other like AI hate on axis effects. Some Lindsay's now online. Just running out of cards here. We didn't make a successful run, they could score out. If two shipments. If they do that though, they go pretty poor. Oh, shipment not. But if they play biotic or they play uh, the other one, uh, you know the one, focus group. I never remember the name of that one. There's like a couple cards I never know. Focus group, uh, that NBN fast advance upgrade. Don't no idea what it's called. What's that one called? Like the new Sansun City Grid. No clue. Literally never remember the name. I don't know why. It's because like it's like a boring technical esque name. Mmm. -hmm. More ice just makes me more powerful. Calibration testing, thank you. Yeah. Like, see, like, how am I meant to remember that? I, I guess we stim hack R&D? Feels terrible. Arella Salvatore. Yeah, no, she, I know her. But I think she's a reference to, like, a, an author. It's a bit easier. It's a good name. They don't res here, right? Like, there's no way you res. So you don't know if they could be an Obakata. I guess it doesn't really make that much sense. I don't know why you'd res. Also, don't res a Kumayani. That'd be a mistake. Hmm. It's just like an inside job. Inside job's a good card, mind you, right now. I'm digging some inside job. Oh, Beth threw the card. Stimac plays around Kamainu. <laughs> we already have this though, Hunting Grounds. But you're right, this does play around Kamainu. Saves us. It's a 10 credit value. Doesn't Kamainu prevent an Obakata steal? Yeah, but it's not going to fire. Oh, that is a Lindsay. Okay, so they spent a lot of their money. So this one actually, I think, so now it is, we're at four strength. So this is now only, uh, it's a bit cheaper. That's not right. Well, that is right. I thought this would be cheap. Why did I res that? Like, we broke it for free. This whole server is, like, largely free. It's a Kamainu. That's a mistake. It has no text on it. It's definitely a misres. You cannot do that. There's a reason now we can't run it twice, but like I would not risk that for five credits. Yeah, cool. Just take your money. Five. Oh, I paid one too many, I think. Five, two, three, four, five. Oh, we'll play a side game. Sorry. Fuck, this is clumsy. So they did still overpay for the Kamaini because of install costs, so it feels good. Alright, three cards here. That's an Aiki, damn. That's Kronos. Wow, they're really into the Kronos. That's a Fetal, which we will pay to steal. We are now on game points. We uh, lost all our stim hacks. Uh, Notoriety is also in the bin too, which is not great. We've already drawn this turn, but we are now on game points. Uh, we can just Proco up a wee bit. Ooh, a Parisia. That's something to pawn. That is something fun. We're out of cards real soon. Like, Kakugos can be an issue. Huh. That's only five to break this. We can only do, like, twice-ish. I'll Proko again. Turntable. Ah, yes. Turntable. That's a good card. Too bad we've got all their other stuff. All right. So, the next two cards. No. Ish. That's the Aiki. So now we know the next one card, which I already immediately forgot what it was. It was the Aiki, Fetal AI, and then what? Cronus? No, we didn't steal two, did we? Oh yeah, okay. So there's three unknown cards on top. So like stealing something here would be kind of okay. 
feel like we're running out of MU. We can start like pawning our MU cards. Oh man, I just want admin three. Clunch up cash to sell pre-shift for free. Yeah, it's feeling good. I just don't know whether we need clunch up David. Yeah, fuck it. We'll try this. So we can go again. I'm assuming this is gonna be two, three, four, four. And then this is like what? Still six. That's so expensive. Admin. Get us an admin. Shaves off four credits. That's our last card. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that. Value. Uh, so what do we want to do? In theory, like now Obakata gets really scary because we can't steal it, but we do have turntable. Uh, the clone chip has value. I'd rather install the clone chip. Uh, we have no way to deal with barriers if they have double barrier. We also need to make a successful run. Uh, for what it's worth, we probably actually just want to go trash this because it's cheap right now. Oh, actually this does nothing now. Fuck yeah. Counterplay. And then we made a successful run. So that's going to hurt their money, which is a bit poor. We've also made a successful run. We can always make a successful run now if we're worried about shipping from Tenon. And we'll just gain credit, I guess. Could you rather let Lindsay fire? I don't think we can let Lindsay fire. Do you want unless the runner trashes? So if you can't do that, I think you have to take the net damage. I think if there's no stack, Lindsay won't let you take the damage. Like, Lindsay will force you to because you're not paying the cost. The runner must be able to pay the full cost considered trash. No, so you can't do it. Found your day with six points. Feels good. Feels really good. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't do anything. Unless they're on like Project Kusanagi. And then it's really good. Super, super good. So we died to some combination of snares, obviously. I don't know what server two is. They would have resed it by now. I'm scared to touch it. Are we needing to keep more cards for Fetal? And Kusanagi, it's a card you can play in theory. Feedback filter? Yeah, we don't. We lost it. It got uh, it got Chronist. We got to stand off that game earlier. Yeah, standoff is playable. In Argus, it's a cool card. It's really bad against turntable. But that's like every like turntable so, has such a fucking strong impact on the meta. Like turntable eventually will rotate, but that's such a big issue in this game. It's like, oh wow, I will play this agenda suite. No, I won't because people play turntable. Like turntable, it's just no reason not to play like a, a, such a small part of the card pool. Like the three ones are like it's a hard argue to get to play them. I I get that, but like turntable does not make it any better. I guess we run R and D. I don't know. Yeah, so now we have to break these. Uh, we're going to spend one fewer. So this is four. If they put another ice here, it's really good for us. So how much is this? This would be two, 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 four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this is still cheaper. Okay, C3 cards. Can steal Obicata, depending on order. Can still Fetal. Still have a lot of cards in there. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Just enough cards. So they were on Obukata. We didn't see restricted. Just enough cards. There's a big chance actually we keep dying on this axis, right? Because like we hit a breach dome or something. Hedge fund. Our clock down. There it is. I don't feel like that deck was amazing. I honestly, it's okay. We definitely could pressure most turns, but like breaking shit's super expensive. Oh man, okay, I think we're gonna try and build a deck, which actually probably is a mistake, because it's already like 11 o'clock. That's upsetting. Uh, but I, I definitely wanted to try building, um, I, I think Surfer is incredibly good. Yo, Kobe, how's it going? Timmy, hi from Colorado. Hey, how you doing? You three hours back, I take it? It's like, what, seven, eight, eight probably? Um. So I don't know, I think a lot, I've, I've been doing a lot of testing against this deck, which is a Wii deck that runs uh, uh, like, you know, Lamb and runs Surfer. And I honestly think Surfer needs to be restricted. It's nine, okay, cool. 
Wow. Yeah, no, that's right. Two hours. Okay, cool. Uh, how you doing? Uh, so yeah, this is kind of nuts, but I feel like that this is something that we could do in other factions, especially factions that in actually have a better barrier breaker than Lamb, because Lamb is honestly not bad, but sometimes it's really expensive. Sometimes you're paying five credits for stuff. What's the best way to reach out to you regarding Canadian national stuff? Uh, uh, the email metropolegrid at gmail.com. I don't check it too often, but I can. I should. That's probably the easiest way. Um, so yeah. I think that's a big deal is that we have lamb and uh, surfer, which makes big glacier remotes like trivial, especially if you do have something like paperclip where you're just breaking one ice. Now, how do you make sure that something is a barrier? You can play Polongi. And this is where I want to try and play Polongi in uh, freedom and play surfer and then play, um, uh, I don't know, in theory, you could play lamb, but I want to try just playing Polongi and see how it goes. Apex surfer. I don't, I don't know if we need to do that, but I, I feel like this is a chance. And then we can always make our Polongis like ever restocking by playing other cards like, uh, I don't know, Friday Chip or maybe even the console, not Curie. I feel like we're not going to have enough time to build this. Let's see if other people have played it. I know there's a dude in my meta, shout out to David, who's been doing stuff like this for a bit. Polongi, but I want to see if we can do it a different way. Yeah, I realize I'm just like building David's deck, huh? I just wrote David because I was thinking of David. Uh, Polongi Surfer. Seems like a fine deck. Not a lot. That's crazy. Why is this not not? And it's all Shaper. Why is this? Why are people not doing this? This seems like it'd be really good. I think CTZ was playing a Surfer deck on stream Tuesday. Okay, cool. It's probably like a Wu deck, right? Because Wu Surfer is incredibly good right now. They're like, I'm gonna get three Rizekis on turn one Wu deck. That thing seems a bit nuts. I fucking hate Rizeki. Uh Okay, so we're going to try this. Let's do Freedom. And we'll just get the parts in there. We're going to try and build it really sloppily and really quickly and see how it goes. Freedom also is like a really attractive ID right now. Just on the basis that it's like the only ID that can deal with Acid Spam turn one really well. Val is like the second closest, I guess. Is Quetzal? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, Quetzal's interesting too. Yeah, Quetzal's cool. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We want to get a paperclip down. Um, I guess this is our restricted card. We could play three of them. Maybe overkill. Maybe we want to do two and then two Yusufs. Maybe that's good enough. I don't know. Yusuf's really good against Asset Spam. Uh, we want to play Surfers. We can't tutor for this, so we probably have to play three. We do have to watch out for MU. Uh, and then we have to play some amount of Palangis, which is a pretty high influence card, which I think is rightly so. So if we play two of those, uh, we're at a good spot. We need to make sure we get counters back on that. So we have a couple of options. We have Virus Breeding Grounds, which is pretty slow. It's kind of really click intensive, but it's not the worst card in a freedom kit anyways. Uh, it's like Asset Spam Hate, which is kind of cool. Uh, we can play Friday Chip, which is really good if you're trashing stuff. With freedom, you can do pretty good. Pad Taps? Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. We'll get to the, the basics. I just want to get this engine down first. Like, you're definitely trashing stuff, and this gets a counter on it, which is really good. But if you have the most money, you definitely want to do Knob Curie, because when you make a successful run, you get your Plongi token back, which is kind of fucked. Like, that's so good. I'm going to try this one. I think it's, it's, you also get other value from other stuff, but I don't know. It seems probably pretty good. So that's the basis of our whole engine, and we still have to figure out a way to win, and we have to figure out a way to do everything else. So let's do everything else first. We don't have the most money. Yeah, so we're going to fix the money problem first. One Polongi, one SMC for same influence. Yeah, you could, couldn't you? But SMC is really expensive. I feel like you might be right, though. And then we could play like fewer Surfer. I like just having the Polongi, though. Hmm, okay. You know one runs Nave Mamba. Yeah, right? I hope someone does. I hope it works out really well for them. Uh, that's a pad tap. Uh, we're going to put in just basic money. We want to run because we want to get virus counters. So that's a dirty laundry. That's a sure gamble. Daily cast, liberate account, pad tap, basic economy stuff. Inject and clone chip. Yeah, I feel like with inject, it's really risky. So we do need to run clone chip because so far paperclip's the only thing that doesn't care. Uh, we can run other breakers just because we might need them. Uh, that's probably a good start. Uh, retrieval run? Yeah, retrieval run's not bad. We don't get too much value on it. And generally people ice up stuff because of uh, freedom anyways. We also want to get data suckers, I think. That's probably maybe a bit too much. Uh, mining accident's probably good uh, because we were going to be running a fair bit. We're building every Anarch deck here. I've had worse is like not a bad card. Uh, what else is like not a bad card? A draw engine is something we're going to st struggle with. Um, I feel like we also, we definitely want, do we actually want Hippo? I feel like we do. I feel like Hippo's just good. Auto compete so just Black Cat. <laughs> also agree with Rob. Imp? I think we should just be on Friday chip over Knob. And Knob means we can't run turntable. Imp, also agree with Rob. 
I feel like I'd rather than uh, than uh, Friday Chip, which is like a conditional card. Like I'd rather just play Universal. Uh, I'd rather just play Virus Breeding Grounds and have to move a token if we really need to. Like this card is just good in Freedom. Well, Friday Chip, I honestly, I, I see it is good, but it's like more situational. Like I would install this card on turn one in some matchups. I wouldn't do that for the other one. Yeah, Hippo and Server is a nombo, but it, at least Hippo is like optional. I feel like this is, might not be necessary. I feel like programmed, uh, you don't really need ice destruction. We'll try it without it. I feel like this is better, but like Knob Kiri gives us uh, MU, which I think is the biggest thing. Like I think having MU is huge considering like uh, use of his two influence, all this other stuff is like heavy on influence. Or, or sorry, on MU. I meant to say MU, not influence. So like, yeah. All right, I guess we're doing inject. Stim hack is a good card. I guess we do need clone chips, right? If we're playing inject, so we need two of those. We can play retrieval run. We need a way to win. Uh, we could play two copies of Stargate, which is probably pretty strong, but again, that's a huge MU issue. If we can get counters on Friday Chip, we're not getting counters on Nob anyways. Yeah, totally. I just like the MU on this thing, because like we're going to have that problem. But I think VBG over over our Friday Chip. That's the way I see it, at least. Uh, how do else do we make this spicy? Wow, one more card, and we have to get multi access. We have no card draw. This doesn't seem good. This doesn't seem amazing, I'll be honest. We also, in theory, could just run knifed. Like, fucking knifed and Palangi and Paperclip is good enough. Play two turning wheel. We still have no card draw. Heck, Obelisk. Cut a laundry. Okay, so we have no card draw. Our money is pretty bad. Vigil's interesting, but Vigil has a counter synergy with freedom if you're, in theory, trashing stuff. Let's see what this draws like. This is going to be a fast game, right? Because we only have like 45 minutes to do this. But in theory, how's this opening? It's okay. We have access to our server uh, SMC combo. Uh, one, two. Yeah, okay. That's probably playable. I do like data suckers. Stargate server is good for that one impact round of turn. Yeah, very, very. But it's it's huge. Roberto saying turning well. Yeah, I think we need turning well. Turning well also works really well with Stargate. We could play one, one copy Stargate. Stargate SMC is also pretty sweet. But MU is going to be an issue. I'm aware that we're at... I don't want to cut cards. I'll cut Knife Edwards. Oh, no. We need card draw. Hmm. All right. So this is our opening hand. We mulligan that. This is our opening hand. This is better, right? Draw. I don't know. Pad tap data cast. Are we going to have money to surf? Uh, in theory, no. In theory, no. But if we have some bad pub, in theory, maybe? If we're Val, we're already in a good spot. I don't think we're going to have a lot of money. I think that's very true. I wish there was a way to tutor viruses that is encrypt. This is actually a good opening. We do that, that. Against Asset Spam, we're good. Against Asset Spam, we're good. And then we're kind of off to the races. That's actually a really good opening. We're gonna have Yusuf for freedom value. Seems rough. Yeah, we only have Yusuf for freedom value. Uh, we could also have virus breeding grounds for freedom value. But yeah, that's pretty bad. Is freedom actually the best person to play this? Maybe we just do a different A. Uh, we don't play Yusuf when we play a different ID. Right? Because like freedom's ability is really good if you play Friday Chip. It's also just like a really good ability and we're good against assets. That's specifically if we have Yusuf. But if we don't have like, uh, what's it called in here? Um, data suckers, it's a lot worse. Caw. Why are you crowing? Yeah, I don't know about this. It's weird, as soon as you have a cool idea and then you put all the parts together, you just like struggle with like basic stuff. I don't know why jogging's cawing in chat. I guess we do laundry, liberated, a click, Yusuf. Be a bird? Like a Quetzal? What does Quetzal help us with? Okay, let's look at the IDs. So Alice Merchant, interesting. We have uh, Archive Pressure, which is cool. Uh, Edward Kim. Uh, so in theory, Quetzal is cool, right? Because like you can Palangi and just make something into a jet barrier. So that's actually kind of ne neat, right? Reina Val has more bad pub. Uh, Null. Not that much value. You don't have enough card draw. Yusuf Turtle Circle is a pre freedom rig. I honestly really don't like Turtle and, and Yusuf because it, it's counter synergistic. Don't need MU. Yeah, we could do that. We have Paperclip too. 
We could try this, but then we don't need Yusuf, which is good. That's a good start. If we're doing the Quetzal, though, don't we also play Knifed in this? We would play Knifed. I think we do play Knifed in this if we play Quetzal. Because we just Palangi Knifed a server. And we just like to keep doing Knifed. Knifed? That's hard to say. Knives. I feel like you would knife for sure. Not a lot of breakers. That's a fine opening hand. Credit, liberated. We could even do dirty laundry, liberated. Uh, yeah, we could try this. I feel like this is playable. I'm aware I'm at 46 cards, but it feels okay. We kind of need the knob curry for the Polongi combo. You also, in theory, could play other stuff like rejig to just have Polongi over and over again. You can also just trash and clone chip it. For what it's worth, when we have clone chip, it's worth maybe considering David, but I guess if we're surfing, we don't need it. I still think this deck is way cooler now that's gets all. I agree. Cut the knob. I feel like the knob is necessary for the Polongi combo because we're not going to get any other way to refuel this, and we need to refuel this. We really do need to refuel this. I think we can play this. I don't, I don't know if I'll cut anything. That's probably fine. Okay. Uh, what are we going to call this? Uh, Polongi is a fly, right? Knife fly? That's terrible. Oh, knife fly. Oh, Jesus. Nifly? No, oh, I threw up in my mouth. Oh, I feel bad. Have you issues here? Yeah, maybe. Fly by knife, DJ. Oh, that's so much better. That's so good. Oh, thank you. Cats off, free spirit. Let's go. Jogging, your fly by knife was later, so. Pretty fly for a knife guy. Also pretty good. Everyone's doing a better job than I. Fly by knife is very good, though. House of Flying Daggers. That's close to House of Knives, though, which I think is a techie deck. All right, Coca-Cola, quick queue up here. Gonna have the counter strats. Coca-Cola's in the YouTube chat, let's go. Jemison Astronautics, opening hand is some trash. This is trash, this is the best card, but we don't have money. And we don't know what they are. 46 cards is good. You want a nice even number. Odd numbers are bad, because you can't divide them by two. Our hand's much better, mucho better. We can make anything a barrier. We can go through any single subroutine. How good are we at this? So we want to do one, two, three. We'll draw first. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a combo. Yo, seriously, I think this is going to probably be okay. Corpse should never play. Corpse should play a fine 48, just so it's divisible by two. So if someone says, like, make two piles out of your deck, you can do it. Just like the, the volume on television, even or nothing. Uh, I don't think Wayland plays any single sub ice. We can get through Afshar though. What do we got? Oh, apparently we got everything. We drew literally everything. We might have wanted to dirty the laundry first. Yeah, we might have wanted to do the laundry first. I guess we lose the turning wheel? Yeah, we'll win on Stargate, don't worry. 54 cards, Jemison? No way. Oh, fuck, so it is. Hey, here we go, Atlas, Bad Pub, here we go. They have more money, though, which is a problem. TV volume must be divisible at five. It's either even or five. Like, you can do 15 as the honorary even. I think everyone knows that. We got a uh, pat tap credit. Feels good. But otherwise, yeah. Sort your shit out volume. Okay, so that's our combo. Palangi knifed. We need a breaker. Hopefully a paperclip. And then we can just, like, stargate him to 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 to, to Deathland. I, I, I was coming up with, like, even worse creations of rude... Words. Ah, oh, fuck it. We're just gonna dirty laundry for value. Value. What's the worst card in our hand? In theory, stim hack. We don't actually can't really use it really well. 
Uh, we have to watch out also for like uh, SDS drone deployment. What? Stop stream sniping us. Okay. Now this is going to be immediately emptied. Like they're going to be purged. We're going to be upset about this. I, we in theory don't need to install this. This actually could be an archer. We can break the end of the run and then go wipe the board. Plonky is really strong. This card's fucking up. We're seeing so many things where like just being able to change the type of ice. It's a mother goddess. Oh my god. Oh wow. Full, full. We have the hot tech. They definitely need to purge. We definitely need to get down our our our, our thing. So this is an atlas, it looks like. Contract killer. Okay. Don't actually have any connections in this deck. Kaka ka ka. Gets all. Breaking barriers. Let's go. That's a purge. I think you need that. You definitely feels bad. Uh, we're going to inject for a paperclip. Oh, we lost the self-modifying code. Ooh, that's rough. Oh, we could have knifed that. Knifing this actually would have been pretty good. But as soon as we run and they res something. Hmm. I'm going to see if they're going to do the bad pub right here. If they do, it's it's pretty good for us. It might be just as good as the bad pub itself. Let's see what they do. All right, they gave us the bad pub. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, so we need to get counters on Polongi. So it's basically Clone Chip or Knob Kiri, which we actually can comfortably afford. I want to face check HQ here. We're good against Snare. We're not good against Thithonium. Mushin. What could they possibly Mushin here? Oh, yeah, they could do Junebug. They could be playing Junebug. We've used one I've had worse. Okay, so we'll draw once. So this could be six damage. Losing the Stargate's bad, but we do have clone chips. I think losing the knives is even worse. We'll run HQ first, see how things go. Tithonium would be really bad here, but at least we can break one subroutine because it's a barrier. They could res it for free, which puts more tokens on. I'm not gonna run that. Oh, it's another mother goddess. Fantastic. So now we can do Stargate. Stargate. And then Tithonium is the only issue. Because we can break Archer. Okay, it's now code gate. Program, program, resource. Oh, two servers on the top. Good to know. All right, we're gonna uh, there. We're gonna get a. But we only lose two, right? Uh, because we have the pads out. Knife that. We can't make it a barrier. We have to knife this though. Once they res the barrier, hopefully they do. The fact that they got three credits though from that is the worst. Obviously, we wanted to make spend money. Res a barrier. Do it. Another code gate? Ah, fuck. We're gonna end with a tag. The tag's probably not that bad. We lost a knife. Feels bad. Have a tag. That's okay. I don't even think any of these stuff are worth trashing, let alone they have no money. So, standoff, Oberth Protocol, or Afshar. So, standoff is an agenda. We don't have a turntable. Oberth Protocol is how they win, so we don't want them to have that. And we can't run again. Afshar is an ice, which is a code gate. What about if the deck has no barriers in it? There's a chance that this deck has no barriers. Did DJ really queue against us? They also didn't score the agenda. And they could have. If that was a 5-3. Oh, no, they couldn't have if it was a 5-3. Oh, we have two bad pub, too. We actually made money on that, no? All right, they're not trashing. Feels good. I feel like they threw out the standoff. What did we th throw? Oh, we threw out the Oberth. All right. We have a Surfer. The next draw is also Surfer. And then finally, a Pad Tap. I'll just clear the tag, I guess. Threw out the Archer. Okay, so it's not only Code Gates. What about if they have no barriers? I wouldn't be surprised if there's no barriers. Kill Afshar ammo? Yeah, maybe the Afshar is better because they don't have a remote server. That's a standoff. Choose one of your cards to trash. Okay. It could be an arc lockdown. Now they can choose one of their cards to trash. Woo! I think we trashed Palangi. 
What do we trash here? Fuck it. Actually, the pad tab is probably more worth it. I don't know if it's going to give us four credits. Yeah, pad tab is probably right there. Something, something. I can do this all day. <laughs> oh, no way. Let's go. Always trash, never blink. Got it. Got him. HQ is open. Let's hit him. Dedication. Okay. They trashed their trap too, which is really cool. They have an after coming up as well. Mushin no Shin. Uh, I wish we were freedom now. So wish we were freedom. <laughs> Slot machine. Damn. And now they have an after as well. So I don't think we need two surfers. How do we deal with this? Like we need a plongy. We basically need a plongy one of these. Freedom pretty much always better than Quetzal. Yeah, Freedom would have been so good there. NGO. All right. Before we could tap the pad. There were, actually, that was in there. Oh, they couldn't draw it, I guess. Okay, we got the paperclip. Good start. Uh, okay. We'll start from here. Still no agendas, and like this is hard to deal with. Amushin, uh, we run this one. We draw once, run it. Oh wow! So we can trash a Palangi. How do we do this? So this is probably a slot machine or an Afshar. So if we. Install our paperclip on top of this or surfer, I guess. I don't know. If we install a paperclip on top of this, then put our clone chip, we can knife this. We also could die here, obviously. Ah, we won't knife it. <laughs> One word for you, Rob. All right, what is this? Tithonium. Fan-fucking-tastic. So definitely want to knife this, but the best thing is that we can just break this for four. Uh, good thing is two, it's only two with bad pub. Wait, why does it have four subroutines? It doesn't. It's doing that wrong. So we could die here. Easily die here. Yeah, that's June Bug. They put a token on it too. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, we got June Bugged. Yeah. We didn't see any June Bugs, so I thought that was a reason too, but they must have either just John that we missed an HQ. I feel like there's no reason to run it too. I didn't realize they put a token on it. If they put a token on it, but I guess they do that anyways. I forget that they put tokens on things. But I don't know. I guess the one of this is a June bug, so maybe they have a second one. But it also could have been a contract killer. There's no way I don't know think we run that. Because there's no like big agenda that they get. It's not like the other one, right? It's not like uh what's it called? Uh the Ag Infusion deck where if they score a certain agenda we lose the game. I, I think we could have been in control there. We're actually just starting setting up our combo. I got the token off the Tithonium res. Oh totally. I would Yeah, so we just need a knob curie. I think once we actually had the knob curie, we'd we'd be in a really good spot. Because then we actually have our like really cool engine. Hmm. Hmm. We did play around this right though, which is good. I don't think there's any good reason to run. Terrence says takeover? Ka, takeover. Yeah, I don't think we run on that. I used a paper clip. Yeah, 
Yeah, so even SDS obviously would be fine. Yeah, beans. Okay, so I think we fucked it up. I don't think there's any reason to run that, which is it's a good thing. I think we have time for another one. Could have been government takeover? Yeah, sure. And then they can score two more turns. I'm not worried about the takeover. Yeah, do you respect the government takeover? I don't think you do. That's when you play Deus Ex. Deus Ex is also like another really good option if people are playing all these June bugs. Just play Deus Ex in your deck. We obviously can't do it, but like Shapers can. Cheers. All right, let's do another one really quick. Hopefully it's not like a long game. I also want to see how this goes against Asset Spam. I feel like it'd be pretty good. Also this. That button didn't do anything? Oh, now it did. Another thing I'm really fascinated right now is putting Atman in like Anarch decks. I don't know. I feel like Data Sucker is really good. And then you can just play Atman and then like use, you know, your, your heat breakers for like stuff that's low cost and then just Atman the big stuff. No one home? Yeah. No one home is another good way to do it. Hey, no one home is actually pretty good tech. It's only net damage though, right? Or tags. That's actually a pretty fair tech card. So then all those trap decks, you just have to worry about the brain damage. For what it's worth, though, if you're worried about that, you can also just play, like, um, Caldera, which also you can pay for brain damage. You can do the same with Turtle. Yeah, you can, but if they purge, you're out of the game. Atman, like, 4 is, like, good enough. I feel like so many decks you can predict the Ice Suite. Like, Atman 5, you're good. Yeah, but you have to run. Like, they like so many times on this channel, when we played Amon, uh, Amaku decks, they put three ice on centrals. They have a CBS in their archives. Like, that's it. You can't rely on uh, Amaku anymore. But with Admin, you're generally okay. You can also play Ice Carver for more value. There's some ways around it. I don't know. I think Admin's only, like, two influence. Maybe it's three. Yeah, Bin Breakers? Yeah, totally. But it's, I don't know, it's expensive. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just need to play more Val. It's been such a while that I can make like good value runs. Ooh, PE. Wow, net damage. Okay, well, Stargate's the best thing we could possibly get against this uh, matchup. Uh, I think we're going to try and high roll into some bad pub. Oh, this is a lot worse. Hey, Buffona. All right, they got the money. Uh, we got the Stargate. Have the iPad worse, that's actually pretty hot too. So getting that down is pretty good early. I don't know if we're gonna need the Surfer, we can always throw it out. I think the Stargate is on its own is gonna be enough. Couldn't sleep all night trying to figure out a slot, two or three punitives. Are they telling us another deck? What is this? What is this? Ah, every deck is just a motion deck now. All right, well, this is four damage. We can probably just run this. That's really funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the... Uh, anyways, do we run this? Ah, fuck them. They, they can get it. You can score a 5-3 if you really want. Just score 5-3, they have four credits. I don't ever want to play this card. Just some money would be good. Oh, thank you. It's very kind. So we can play this and this, and then next turn start pressuring. Uh, turning wheel is okay. Throwing out a card against PE feels really bad. The problem here is also we're going to take a damage if they score. This is a JQ meta. Install Stargate and hit them. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to. Okay, so this doesn't matter unless it's a Ronin. Yeah, I think we're just going to face tank into whatever it's here. I think we do this, and then I guess we can. I don't know. We can just go, right? Like if we make it a barrier, it's unlikely to be a one separate team. If it's a one separate team, it's a Cortex lock. It feels bad, but we only take two net damage anyways. So it's a Kakugo. So we need to definitely knife that. So we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna break the end of the run and get through. So, hey, we're getting actually a lot of cats all value. Hit the Palangi. Hedge fund, Sadaka, Breach Dome. Uh, we'll trash the hedge fund. Sadaka honestly doesn't do much. None of our resources matter. Uh, I think we're gonna get the mining accident. Could have ran money accident? Yeah. So now it's on top. Sadaka and then Breach Dome. Okay. 
We'll draw once. It's fine. Oh, we have a paperclip. We have the plongi. We have the combo. So we definitely want to knife this Kakugo. And then just Stargate every turn. Ooh, NGO front. Okay, cool. They have money. So they just drew the, uh, the, the breached. Or we're just going to keep Stargating. We're just going to knife, hopefully, everything. Hopefully, we hit the iPad worse on this Kakugo hit. Now, if they're on punitive, we're just going to put everything to archives. So, everything to archives it is. Fuck. So, these are three fresh cards. I think this is a Breach Dome. Hello. Uh oh. That's a bad sign. Is anybody playing on JNAM right now? Did it fall apart? I have internet. Stream's still good. Hold on. Something is fucky. What's the chance? Hmm. Hold on. They also left. Fuck. Too much Stargate crash in that. Oh, that sucked. I was honestly interested in that match. I think we had a pretty good start. That sucks. Okay, well, all right. I don't know. It's 11.30. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, hopefully, we see you at the regional on Saturday. I still got to figure out what's up. Repo Engine is still there about two-thirds down the list. Wait, actually? I don't see it. Did I miss it? doesn't say Metropolitan. No, that was the other game. That was the last game. That was Coca-Cola. Yeah, no, it's not there. Um... Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully see you on Saturday. Shout out to everyone who's making it down. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. We're going to film it. It'll get up here eventually. That's all for me. Thanks so much to all the people who uh, joined in chat. Everyone who played games. To everybody watching the VOD. How's it going? Uh, hopefully if you have regionals this weekend, best of luck to y'all as well. And uh, we'll be back in a week. Next week on Thursday. Ciao. Have a good night, everyone.